I can I can reprocess it to darken it. Suggesting, do you want to split Ed's salary between transfer station and highway uh -huh. department? I didn't do that, so okay. you know we can address those things as we go yeah. along, or yeah. however we want to. All right. All righty then. So the first budget that I have on top of the pile is the town clerk. Is it just? So um, on your spreadsheets, mm -hmm. uh, like you can see on the projector things that are yellow. I, I meant to print in color and I didn't. I apologize. So on your printout, it's light gray. Those okay. yellow areas reflect items in the other parts of this spreadsheet, which are calculators. Right. I didn't print these calculators for you, but I emailed them <coughs> to you so that you can see how they work. Mm -hmm. um, but yellow things in these other sheets directly um, pour into the front proposed budget. Okay. So the things that are very light gray, you don't necessarily want to change the number. We need to go back and change the, how the cal calculator. Okay. Let me also say, if I might, um, one of the things I did, there was, so this is Suzanne's template from last year. Uh -huh. It had a 2% in there as a placeholder for across the board. Okay. I changed it to 3% because it reflects what most people are requesting. Um, in area, so m most of the salary lines are yellow, or you'll see them as light gray because right. they're calculated, ca calculated by the ATB. I overrode that in places and made it a clear background where the department had requested something other than that. Okay. So I picked the 8-3 just as a placeholder because it, re it reflected most people and it allowed the calculator to work. Okay. Except in places where the department had requested something. In which case I superseded the calculator okay. and it's not going to calculate. Okay. So those two places are what? Police and fire probably? Um, it's actually... Um, Police is 3%, that was his request. Um, it's um, highway and um, fire. Fire okay. requested level. It was the board's idea last year or the year before that it would always get the ATB okay. for the chief and their salary line. $200 per election. 
election. It's right, only right. one election. There's only one election. Yeah. One Just election, yes. Yeah. And so, so the calculator works according to how many elections. So it's plugged in for one election. Okay. You can see the notes on the right-hand side. It says 200 per election up in the um, executive line. Oh, um, it, it says moderator and people like that, how much per election. So you can see how, that's, how that correlates to the how many elections function. Now the notes are on. Oh, oh no. I'm yeah, so sorry. Okay. That's why it's so many oh, pages. Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. The notes for, you know, and you can't see that very well, but the notes are up there. Still on page 15. It's the notes for this page. Yeah. Yeah. 15 goes with the first page. 16 goes with the second page. Okay. Most of those notes are Suzanne's leftover from last year, so okay. I've removed some that really don't apply. Mm -hmm. um, I've superseded them in some cases with what um, department heads are saying. Um, okay. okay. I could have run for it, but I run for it. So, all right. Go back to that page. What about page two? Um, so, in that, in that section, payroll taxes are calculated, so they should be okay. accurate on the okay. sheet. Okay. Okay. On, on the live, okay. yeah. Right. And the programming printing of ballots. Um, so that's a gray area. I'm looking for how it's, I mean, it's calculated clearly it's a factor of number of elections. So I'm trying to see if I can find where she's got. So the short answer is I'm not sure. And it could be that the, um, it may be accurate and it may be good, but we'd have to check bills, and I can't see what the formula is. Well, the ballot's going to be longer this year. Right, so exactly. So, that so that's completely, enough. yeah, I would take that out of the calculator for that, or change the calculator to reflect. Okay. Um, and you might talk to Kate about that, about getting yeah. a quote for a much longer ballot. Yeah. Is that in the, the, the software. So 
I don't Motor know that the 3548 30. reflects the 645 that it already was, or 3548 is going to be really everything. Okay. Like, is it both? All right. Well, when you look at the uh, third page of the um, last page, I guess, from Interware Development, it's um, software company, I guess. Um, the bottom line is 3548. So I'm assuming. Well, so that's for that. But what did needs. the 645 represent that she was already spending? And does she not need that anymore? Or well, she need so both? in her. On, um, You're right. That, that was a 2017 figure, so mm -hmm. I guess it already went away. So never mind. So it's okay. Yeah. It's a 35 million. And was that dog licensing? Is that what that was? No, it allows. It's about motor vehicles. No, no, this one is. I'm trying to figure out what oh. the, the previous one went. Oh, oh, oh! You know what? You do need the 645. You do need it because it's a program that she. You, you pay for it annually, but you pay for it from July through June, and we paid it twice in a calendar year, so we didn't have to pay for it last year, but we're going to have to pay for it again this year. Um, that's what the note says, um, Suzanne's note, skip 2018 payment, because the earlier double payment invoice will come in June. So you're going to need both. Well, so are you going to add that in there? Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be added to the 3548. I'm not so sure. I'm, I'm going to calculate that. Because the first item that's uh, covered under this Clark Works XML for Windows uh, is motor vehicle registration plus CTA with XML, or whatever that means, boats, uh, points of sale, e registration, dogs online, and vitals. I yeah. could just make a point to so, ask her. We can leave yeah. it 3548 and I think it actually might be included. Right? I think it, it looks like it's covered based on. The okay. So she, she's proposing to expand the software. Well, we already do dogs, but she wants to do uh, boats, um, establish a point of sale, so uh, sooner or later people will be able to use their... Uh, it their also account. allows, um, she can scan people's licenses without manually entering as much information, so it's faster. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is this something we're mandated to do? No. no. Okay. Something she wants to do. Well. Okay. It says, uh, thank you, Lord. Um, I've submitted my budget for 2019 with some additional paperwork on a new software system that has been developed. Uh, when I took office four years ago, I, I tried to update or improve one major item each year. Um, and so it's the, we're on the fourth year now, and I've proposed oh. new DMV scanning capabilities. Thank you for your consideration of bringing Rawlinger into the latest century with technology. Okay. So that's, that's something we need to have a conversation with. So um, I'm proposing we change the note to say that if you don't go with the 3548, we need to budget 645. At least for the, for the dog. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, so what do you think? Of this budget? You want to include the, <coughs> excuse me, um, include the, the 3548 with a software package now or uh, or leave it at the um, Are we going to start at the beginning of her budget and, go, and talk about it all? Or are we just going to bounce? We can start back at the beginning, but I don't think there is anything else that... Salary. That she proposed to make me. Okay, yeah, we'll go back at the top of the door. I know we were there, sorry. Sorry, no, 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 sorry. I don't think I was put in, so. Um, so the town clerk salary for, was it, was it last year? We brought back the... Um, I think that was two years ago, two and years I think ago last now. year she got the ATV, but I'm not positive about that. Okay. And prior to... to um, I think it was maybe Sharif's when it changed. I'm trying to think of... Uh, you gave her a big cent last year. Yeah, well, I'm just saying. So they used to get the um, the standard um, cost of living raise, whatever you want to call it, for, uh, um, that all the town employees got mm -hmm. at one time. Beverly used to receive that, mm -hmm. and then it seemed to have changed. Um, then there was, I mean, I wasn't part of the the, the board that hired um, the current town clerk mm -hmm. when she had that when she was left. Um, and they did that market adjustment. There wasn't one last. Was it last year that was last, was it last year that was another market adjustment? Wasn't for tax clerk, I, right? I, I thought that was a tax collector. I I don't think either of them got a market last year, no. and it wasn't the tax collector for sure. 
Okay. Well, she got in Margaret. It must have been two years ago then. Yeah, I think it was two years ago. Right. Okay, so my only, my only comment on the salary is that she has initiated the off Fridays for initially one month. Now it's three months. And her salary hasn't changed because she's salary. So my position is if you had to take all this time off and not be here servicing the town, I'm not sure that you need to have an increase in pay. But she doesn't ask. She just does. Because she can. She can, right. That's, that goes, she, she right. can she, make her own hours. Right. However, yep. we still have to fund it. back to so we had this discussion when we were on the ad hoc salary com mm -hmm. committee. What other towns do what's the normal rate of pay? Like what how often is their office open or not open? Um, yeah, I mean I think a token amount. I mean I don't I don't typically get three percent raises. Um, Yeah. 
know where I'm just missing it. Town, back up, sorry. Town clerk, election stipend. There's only one, so that's not going to change, right? Um, ballot clerk's wages, there's only one election, so that shouldn't change. So, can we just yep. back up? Yep. For the stipend? Yep. Last year was eight, uh, this year is uh, 600 with four elect three elections or four elections? Three elections. Three elections. Three elections. There's one to go, so that's why So it's why are we giving you a 500 for only one election? change the calculator if you want me to change the calculator. Well, I want it if whenever it is per election. So, so if she doesn't have three and she only has one, then it's, you take that, you, what she was So getting. it's all in how you interpret the request. She's requesting <coughs> $500 for one election. Does that mean she's requesting that it's $500 per election? That's what that says to me. Yeah, that's right. that's not well, that's what we've given that, in the past. No, that's, so. that's too much. Okay, so we're going to leave what it is, what, what I have here. Been two hundred for the last several years, at least. Yeah. All right. Of course, not interested in raising it to five hundred for elections. So. No. Okay. So in, in a year with four elections, um, mm -hmm. Okay. So you're appropriate. It was six. It's 200 in election, is yes. what you're saying. Yes. I, I'm sorry. That's what it's been. So, no, that, that was a no, catch because it didn't match her request. Okay. So, so, I mean, I'm okay with the 200. I'm not okay with the 500 on the election. We're all in the same case then. Okay. It's you know, the clerk's wages, ballot clerk's wages. Why does she have two and we have three? So, it's again per election. So, there's one election. It's a function of how many elections. So on the spreadsheet, I don't know about the request, but the I spreadsheet says two hundred. I just did. I, I looked at column. So I did the same thing, Denise. Yeah. No, no, I, it's two hundred. I looked at the yeah. one column. Okay. I just did the same thing. Okay. Okay. So payroll taxes. We've already discussed that. There's a five dollar difference, but that's a calculation. That's a calculation mm -hmm. based on the formula here. So that should be fine. Which is probably why this one is higher.
question for her. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but that's it's not for the election. It's it's for the deliberative. It's for the session. deliberative session. It's for for live meetings and trying to keep track of, um, you know, who the people are speaking and take notes at the same time. You know, she just. That's how she coped with it. What are we gonna leave it as it is and move on, or we can come back. We can revisit it. Two hundred dollars is probably the least of our worries at the moment. Mm -hmm. so. This is to attend the, the, the clerk's conference. Once That's a right. year, yeah. yeah. spent anything, um, but at the same time, um, I know that she spent money, so so it must have gone in a different line or something. I'm not sure why it's indicating that she hasn't spent anything, because I believe she has. Except to say, it might have gone in the lunches line, things like napkins and paper plates. Okay. So I'll clarify that. Okay. Um, I'm not sure. Well, um, in it looks like in seventeen you did. Right. She, I know. Right. She went over in seventeen. Well, the other thing is, um, wouldn't it be a function of how many elections? True. Yeah. So that's just another question. I mean, do we really need to appropriate a thousand if we're not going to spend a thousand? So probably not. Lunches. So that's been reduced down to reflect the. Um, only one uh, election. Yeah, it's right? two seventy-five per election. Okay. I'll read the notes to you since you can't see it on the screen. Thank you. On her spreadsheet, she's got two hundred. So there's people at two seventy-five. I think that's fine. So it's not getting any cheaper. Well, there's that. True. Yeah. All right. Now we're back to input. Note says that we're going to leave it at 3548 until you talk to her, and okay. we're going to budget 645 if you don't do the 3548. Because we want we want her to come in and explain to us what exactly she wants to spend. The, the money yeah, on. I, I, yeah. I mean, think I think if it, if it does it better, I'm okay with software. Let's just hear from her right. what the pros and cons would be for it. Right. You know, but if it's going to be a better functionality of that position. More accurate it might be, or it might whatever. Be worth it, right. It might be worth it. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what benefit, and it may be a real one that I just don't understand. I don't know what benefit we've really seen on the dog side. Mm -hmm. So, if it's the same sort of system that we may or may not really be seeing, mm -hmm. I mean, but there could be efficiencies that we're not understanding. So, right. We yes. can have that conversation. Could I make a suggestion? Yes. You might find that you're having this same conversation for every department since you haven't talked to the department heads right. yet. Right. And it may be prudent to go back to the executive lines, the lines that, like, all the way at the top of uh -huh. your printout, and evaluate the lines that other people have less influence on. Can do that. I might be a better use of our time. <laughs> Just a question for you. Sure. Um, did you notify the department to come Monday night and talk about their budget to us? Only, uh, only the police department. So far, and George, and George. I'm not talking about doing all Monday night. We're going to try to, yes, but I have not. We may not be practical to do every single one on Monday night, but I know at least we're going to do the police and highway. Okay. So I need to find. I couldn't talk to Mark because he wasn't. So he was in Concord. Mm -hmm. Um, and I have not talked to Kate yet. So. Okay. So um. 
suggestion. Mm -hmm. Are you okay with that? Yeah, I just I have one question oh. on the on the voting booth. Yep. Where will you put it? There were so many of them. I know that's not a good So why do we need but another one? She's she's planning on moving all of the elections down to the Legion because with SB two, people are going to be in a voting booth for a lot longer oh, and yeah. doing like this three page okay. ballot potentially. So you're going to have to have more ballots, and we don't have the space here. Right. That was that was my point. Yeah. Now that we have made that decision to go down to the Legion. We so. have. It. No, okay. I don't and we're the ones that make the decision, actually. I think so. it's a grand idea. I, I do talked too, about it. And we've wanted before. to do it for years, actually. Right. So but I'm not going to fight it, but yeah. yeah we, if you have the region, it. you have a lot of room to And it's more handicapped, but not here. And, you know. <laughs> okay. There were a number of folks okay. that have really struggled to get up to the yeah. step that I could see. And they didn't want to use them. And I can't get that in blame them because sometimes it doesn't always work. The yeah, like the lift yeah. over there. Yeah. So uh, it needs to be more. Yeah. Sure. Yep. Yep. And I'm okay with that. Now we can go wherever you want. Okay. No. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I think the suggestion is a good one. Um, I thought that the, the idea was we were going to go through just make sure everything matched up. You want to make sure everything was imported the correct way. Oh, I'm sorry. And okay. We, like, no, no. Right, it's, so it's our own fault because we all then we started digging in and we started. We were, yeah. We were so whichever way you want to do it is fine. Let's go back to just to. Um, Page one. Now let's go back to, to the lines that we um, we have um, okay, so page one. more input on. Yes. So the front office, the executive office rather, will go through um, um, uh, uh, this? government buildings too. We'll be able to do that. A part of it anyway. Okay, so the first line is select amendment. So, anywho, um, we currently have a uh, proposed appropriation standing at um, 12800 which is what it's been for a number of years now. To me, this, this line potentially could change. Along, if, if, if we are going to take some of the recommendations from the, um, the town manager slash town administrator, committee, if we're going to take some of those suggestions, which I hope we do, um, I'm not so sure that the, the select board salary needs to be quite as high as it is. But so there's going to be responsibilities that will be taken on. I mean, we're going to be doing other things, but the day-to-day the, the -day responsibilities will be reduced, which is positive for, for efficiencies. But the idea of rate, we are one of the higher paid select boards in the area because we don't have all the support that other communities have in the area, because the boards have been responsible for these things over the, over the years. So if we're not going to have some of those same day-to-day -day responsibilities, is it fair to ask the taxpayer to keep it subsidizing a salary that's not reflective, reflect, reflective, reflective of the actual work performed? That was not very articulate. I, I grant you that. But and maybe we'll say that, yes, there's just different responsibilities now. Mm -hmm. They don't need to change it, but I, I just want to throw it out there. Um, I understand what you're saying. I, I think that you would sort of need to wait and see what got removed the responsibility. That point. If it is just a meeting once a week, I agree. Um, just a two-hour meeting once a week and not coming in here and Whatever. Um, that yeah, that I think that should go down. Um, but I don't really know yet. Very valid point. And I think that until we know, and until we know that one is going to be hired, That's true too. That we don't affect this line at all. And after we get that person's position approved, and okay. it sees that we can't, we can do it ourselves, and then not have it. Very valid get point. And you can put it into a budget, proposed budget. Then uh, it fails because of the default budget. You don't have the, the, the funding for that. So since you don't have a position, you're absolutely mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely right. Mm -hmm. so that's one to throw uh, it out there. Yep. I think you both raised a very important point. So we'll leave it the same then for now. We agree on that? Mm -hmm. All right. Moderator. So you see that all these next lines are light gray, which means yep. they're calculated per election. Mm -hmm. 
So the moderator is $60 per election. Yep. The three supervisors are $60 per election each. And then the others um, calculate with payroll taxes and stuff. Okay. And the ATB. Oh, for for salary, yes, but not for. Not um, for right, salary. and and yes. my salary line there does not reflect the change in my hours, so that needs to get. I, I'll make a note to adjust that. Okay. So we're we're fine then with moderator and supervisor of the checklist. I mean that's based on the number of elections. There's no real change to be made there. Okay. So here's my thought on on, on finance and admin secretary, admin clerical support. And if there are no those are just the two lines, right? Uh, 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 office support. Yes. I think we should be holding off on both of those lines until we decide if we're going to move forward with with a town admin because it's they're going to be different. I mean, potentially different, different positions, right? So, mm -hmm. um, I mean, so the default budget will, will probably reflect this because you know it's it's the status quo. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, I think that she still has to adjust it based on what she's what her salary is going to be for this year. Yeah, no, I know, I know, I'm not arguing that. I just okay. don't think we need to spend a lot of time on these two lines right now because until we make those other decisions, right? I think it should certainly reflect the, the changes that we've already made. Yes, for sure. That's, okay. That's, so to me, that's we could change column I if you want, which is the 2018 revised budget. We can change that number to reflect what it is now. Okay. Yeah, um, be good. Okay, so that's forty seven six eleven. Right. And that does not change the calculator because the calculator is based on column F, which is the original appropriation. So just just so you know, because it doesn't change what you're gonna look at. But at least you have the number so you can reference it. Revised budget and give me that number. Forty-seven six eleven. So at this time, the proposal would be forty-seven six eleven times the three percent, um, which is forty-nine zero thirty-nine. Thank you. Forty-nine zero thirty-nine. Yeah, and I can change the calculator so it points on that one so that it points to I. Um, yeah, yes, but it's, um, yes. It includes it, but it's not just, right? It, right, like I could potentially, the board gave me the authority to um, hire through the proper hiring process other help since her hours, her availability is limited. So um, I've never done that. Um, so right now it represents, nobody else um, takes from that line okay. the salary, but hers. But her. okay. Budget Committee Secretary is um, just a three percent. So it's in the calculator for three percent. You okay. can change that. Right. Well, I the wrong one. Yep. You but might you might note that it's highly underspent. Yet it could change with this new process. And, right. You know. And the minutes. I mean, the meetings are more at the end of the year versus. Well, you have a whole second budget to consider. Yeah. Yeah. So I certainly wouldn't reduce it mm -hmm. based on that. So, all right, I'll leave it as it is for now. Mm -hmm. Payroll, that's uh, calculated based on, that will also change based yes, on. Yes, and you have new numbers up there. <coughs> so the new numbers for payroll taxes is 5418. And the retirement number is 5529 because that changes too. Conference and news. Oh my God, we overspent. But did we did we take one of the trainings? So it's uh, overspent because the transfer station does not have its own conferences and dues uh, line. So they're required to do training every year. Right. But also 
you sent the new supervisor to that's why yeah. one that <coughs> okay so we should re Are we adding a new line on the transfer station? That's up to the board, you know. Oh, did, I'm sorry, let me ask this differently. Did the transfer station budget ask for that? No. Okay. So do we want But to they probably assume, because it's coming out of the town side of the budget. I'm not, not sure theirs. that they're really aware of right. Right. what that right. cost is. I mean, yeah. my thought is put it a line in the department in which it's serving. Right. So anything for the town building, this building upstairs, should be only what goes there, and then please fire and, right. and highway should have their own. So uh, it's all about your philosophy about that. Suzanne, Mike would remember, wanted to consolidate, consolidate everything. Ones, yeah. So, you know, either way is fine. I agree with you. I think it makes a lot more sense. I wasn't going to argue with all my sword over that at the time, but I do think it makes a lot more sense to actually reflect it in the lines and the budget that's actually coming out of. So. Is this, I mean, she, she's not here, but what is the argument? Um, and, and to get a more concise chart of accounts so that you don't have, yeah. you know, this 45-page document. You know, it, it's all about how you want to see data, really. Yeah. I think it should be on the foot department that's spending Yeah. Right. I, right. I, well, okay. then it doesn't get lost in the fact that they're not being trained. They're yeah. having to no, maintain okay. training so, of some sort. So we don't need to adjust this line, then. It can stay what, where it was. Okay, so I'm going to take this opportunity to move to the transfer station yeah, and I'll add a line. Is everyone there. okay with that? Yep. Okay. <coughs> So we should put a placeholder amount in there. And it looks like it was the line was overspent by two hundred and twenty seven dollars. Um but that doesn't actually reflect that that's how much really the, the transfer station training was. I mean, um that more, specific so. training was one sixty, but it's also a function of turnover at the transfer station right, because right. you know, the more times you turn people over. Right. They have to do fifty dollars a year anyway to maintain their license, but the more you have turnover, the more you're paying fifty dollars. Um so how many so that one that so it should be at least three hundred and ten. Because one hundred and sixty was the annual training for for the for Ed. Through the recycling program, right? That one was 160, yes. So 160 plus 150, which reflects 50 per attendant. And actually, Ed and George have to do those too, since they technically, maybe not George, but at least Ed, up to you, yeah. has to do them. So it's really 200 plus 160 is 360. All right. All right. Well, we should. All right. So I'll put 360 in that one. Spent at the moment, but that's because we've been asking people. What one it's been asking people to curb their their travels. Right? Um, I, I don't know that people are aware of curbing their travels. I think it has more to do with um, not going. You know, I think it's a function to some extent of conferences and dues, at least in that line. It's not in every line because police mileage is different. Right. Um, Keep in mind that those are not; those are only third quarter figures. Okay. They're not end of the year figures. Fair um, who gets who gets mileage out of this line? Um, Andrea and I, and people who 
don't otherwise have it in their line. So a highway and transfer station and fire department, though they would ne they have never used it. But now they have their um, command vehicle that they can use to take Right, so to so I don't think they would use training. it, but you know, I, I guess it much. represents transfer station highway and so for all the trainings that they do, which is everybody has to do annual training, you know, if they don't take there's no policy about whether or not you must take a town vehicle or you can't take a town vehicle. Right. And so some people will prefer to not take a town vehicle and get mileage, for example. And that applies to the police. The police get mileage for going to court. They don't take cruisers. They may have an internal policy about that, but that's just practice. So okay. um, it, it may be a reflection of more people using highway trucks instead of personal vehicles. And the fire department doesn't have the option up no. until, until last year, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so it's, yeah. All right, so are we comfortable leaving it the way it is then? Or do we want to make a change? Do we want to lower it based on what we just heard? <coughs> is there, so 2017. That's a really interesting question, like what was, what's the trend? What's the trend? Um, I would say lower it to 9, 9.50 or something. I mean, I don't, I don't want to get hung up on it. No, but a couple hundred dollars. Every, every little place you can, you know, some adjustments is going to help overall. So. Okay, 9, 900 is that what you're doing? 9.50 is that what you're talking about? Yeah, just, I mean, that's sort of a little bit more than 2017. Okay, okay. Yes. 9.50 it is. It's multifunction printer lease plus okay. maintenance contract. Okay. So I don't anticipate any price in that. Okay, so we should leave that the same? I think so. Everyone's okay with that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Printing and copying. This is where we got confused um, the first time we went to the university. Mm -hmm. We were like, well, what's the difference? Which one do we rent? You know, okay. mm -hmm. So this is like the printing of the town reports, the um, newsletter. Yes. The MS4 stuff that we're going to be printing yes. a lot of. Yes. And um, the voter's guide. The voter's guide. Um, okay. So. Is that enough based on what we have to do for the MS4? I don't think so. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. So that's going to go town wide, right? Yeah. Um, yes. I didn't bring in the MS4. Um, that we worked on last week. The MS, the MS4? Another, another number associated with it. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is. Uh, I didn't bring it with me. So how many yeah. do we have? You, you have four, four messages. messages. Um, but I'm not clear about, I think it might be four messages per category. And, and it's up to you whether you can consolidate categories or right. not. Right. And not um, all of them have to be printed messages, right? Correct. So. Probably to be safe though. Planning on doing at least two printed. I mean, I do some. if we're going to yeah. be four, if we're required to do four, I mean, some of them could be like a blog, right? I saw. Yes, they're not all. Poster or some kind or something. Like right, that. like one of the messages could be like putting a sign up at the transfer station, informing people about how better to deal with yard waste, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and and so that will have an expense. It's not a print copy expense. Well, we get the. Um, through our membership with the NRA, oh, yes. I don't remember how many R's um, we get points, right, yes. to, to produce signs that we can use out of the highway department or around town, I guess, for encouragement and recycling, that sort of mm -hmm. thing. Could, could so that be used for that? Those, possibly. Those points, I wonder? Possibly, but I, I would say, um, I hurry up and talk to Ed, because those points refresh in November, right. and I believe he's working on using points now for this year sure. and then points again. So we need to make sure that right. it's so that might not even he's got he might have plans for the points already too. He may year, and, and also there um, there's a whole list of signs that you can get and certainly they can be customizable, but I don't know if what we would need to do would be something that they could or would print. Okay. So So would it be 
advisable to have some kind of bulletin board posted down at the transfer station that would be waterproof or in some area where it isn't going to get saturated by rain or whatever. Mm. And you, I mean, at least for the some of the things that we have to do for stormwater. We might go do that. And we have the bulletin board here too, right inside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We devote a piece of it to, or we'll have our own, yeah. a new court board up <laughs> that's devoted just to MS4. Mm -hmm. We have to actually do that. But. So we are disadvantaged because we don't fully have our heads around what the obligations are, but some of the obligations are um, in, in quantifying reach. <laughs> how do you know how many people you're reaching? Yeah, like true. it may not, like it may not comply with their standards. Right, I just remember okay. that. Okay. Yeah, so. Okay. Doesn't mean you can't do it still, but it, it's not something where we can count. Right. So I would say there. budget for the not cheap option, mm -hmm. and and let's hope that we can do the less expensive mm -hmm. option yeah. as we learn more about how to do this. Mm -hmm. Okay. But, so like an email message. You can measure how many people receive that yeah, because we know right. or can find out how many people are on that list. That's right. Yes. Yeah. But you're not hitting the whole town by that. No. That's the problem. No. Well, and so here's so currently we put newsletters in um, the text. Yeah. Yes. Um, you can put messages on the newsletter, but Andrea is very firm that additional documents should not be going in the tax bill. So um, she says that there's the law that pertains to that. Mm -hmm. I said that she would probably be asked to find that law since it would be a huge postage saver to right. take advantage of that. Um, so she's aware that there may be an issue there. I just wanted to let you know. Is there any, um, are there any additional disadvantages now that the, um, uh, we can talk about it further down in the budget, but um, the outsourcing of the mailing of uh, We already we have to there. drive the newsletter to them yeah, or get the newsletter prepared enough ahead of time right. that we can send it to them. Um, There's additional cost for that. So if somebody's already driving there, it's not an additional cost to put another box in their car. <laughs> but um, if you're mailing it, then you've got more weight to send more right. stuff there. Right. So, okay. But you're also probably going to increase their um, processing fee putting extra stuff in there. Yep. So there are implications all of that. And having them print like the, the newsletter, or whatever we call it, isn't practical because there are, there are setup costs that we don't pay now because DMV does it for us. Right, not just setup costs, like but set up like right interaction now. help over, can right. you make it more look more this way? And can right. You, like, yeah, which you we don't have that, that functionality in-house. So we need our local or something, yeah. So when you do, if, if and when, it's probably when, we do these mailings, so to say, we can utilize that bulk rate feature, right? They, like they do for campaigns. Every door direct kind of thing? Yeah. yeah. We, every Potentially there are rules about that with what the size of the document is, mm -hmm. like how many pages and whether or not it's tri-folded and whether or not it has a sticker holding it shut and, mm -hmm. you know, things like that. So possibly. The other thing is it has not been worthwhile to get a postage meter till now because we don't um, use enough postage right. to, because it costs more than a stamp mm -hmm. right. to stamp it to be mailable. Um, this might put us over the edge and make that worthwhile. Then your postage is cheaper if you have your own meter. Um, if you do enough. If you do enough. If you're doing not enough, then you're, you're paying fees fee. on top right. of a regular stamp. Yeah. So, you know, it's hard to know all that without quantifying, and quantifying takes time. Mm -hmm. All the questions take time to figure out. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's think back to printing this for a moment. So, so right now, this includes the newsletter, town report, voter 
Voter's Guide. And Voter's Guide. And the biggest would probably piece of that is the town report, you were thinking? Yes. Okay. Although she is printing fewer and fewer of them every year. Well, we know it's, it's important to have physical copies, but I also remember the boxes of them being sent to the Right, but um, it's something else you might want to have a dialogue about, about how many get left over, and do, are we right. printing enough, and what should that number be? Right. Because that's been a decision that she just makes. All right. Well, we, Who is she? The Kate. Book. Okay. If it matters to you, you know, that, that's all. all right. I haven't heard any complaints that people have not been able to get copies. So. You all are very sheltered from all kinds of complaints. Well, I mean, I'm, if there are, then we should know. I mean, I haven't heard that anyone hasn't been able to get, because there are, there are so extras, there's still some in the building, so. We're actually out of them now. You're out of them now? We're out of them now. Um, I'll touch my knee for one. There have been a couple of people who've, you know, requested them and have been unable to get them. Um, I don't know how big the problem is, or if you would consider it even a problem. Well, but it's online. Okay, well, they don't have a computer. Well, so then that, that's it. Okay. Okay. So you can go to the library and look online. Yeah, it, it's online. Yeah. Yeah. We can keep going. We, I mean, it's just. Yeah. We have to provide these things. Yeah. We want to strike the balance between. Right. I mean, I, I, there are some folks that are not going to go to the town library and use the computer or use their home computer. I, for one, am not going to sit at home and read it on a tablet or a computer because I would go half blind. Have to have it in front of them, so I just will. I just, so I forgive you, uh, love it in the room, it's fine. But. So we need to increase the line, right? So what's realistic? I'm going to throw out a big scary number and say 5,000. Yep. Is that a realistic number, or is that just crazy talk? I mean, it may be crazy talk, but it's, it's $1,200. Yeah, it's only $1,200. Yeah, I, I know. Mean, right? That isn't very much when you're talking does about. Does that cover how much does that every about. door direct? How much do we? Um, I think it's approximately two hundred dollars yeah. to email to mail every door direct. Including the paper. Not including paper. Uh, no, no, I'm just talking about postage. postage. Yeah, postage. Okay. So we're gonna have to. We'll get to post. That's you know further so down the line is postage. Yeah, we um, be able to print to and, 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 and mail to them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because B and B has been is very reasonable. They're course. very reasonable. And they're cheaper than going to state. Okay, so does 5,000 seem like a reasonable amount? Based, <coughs> based on all the MS4 mailings that we're going to have to do? I think it does. We have to have that first year under us to really understand. Right, well, that's yeah, just it. Yeah, you know, until you're doing it. Right. So, so maybe, maybe we're not doing enough, but, but we're going to be held accountable. We certainly sure. will be. Yes, I think there's only one name on there, so everyone was reminded <laughs> well, of that. So, yeah. Just that you put We just made sure it was a good one. Yeah, no. <laughs> Okay, so I've changed it to 5,000 and I included a note, new commitments due to MS4. Thank you. Okay. <coughs> Alrighty. So, 5,000. So all those minor little cuts we need just went out the window. Let's see. That's the telephone. Telephone, obviously it seems like it's a reasonable amount mm -hmm. based on actual usage or past um, expenditure rather. We're okay with that one? <coughs> supplies. Let's talk about supplies. Is that all the supplies, like paper, pens, toilet paper? No. no. Okay. So it's, it's office supplies for upstairs. Okay. Um, so it will include, so one of the reasons why um, it's what it is right now, we've started buying um, materials to integrate planning zoning stuff. It includes if somebody needs a rubber stamp. Um, rubber stamps, by the way, like some of them are really expensive. Hmm. Um, calculators. Okay, so it's all, and and all the office supplies. It's, it's just, it's basic office supplies. Okay. <coughs> paper, paper towels, cleaning supplies under government buildings. Okay, um, let me get to that. Supplies in there. And now, just so 
I'm following, and I you just said it, and I need to ask the question again. So that includes the, the tax collector? Yes, your upstairs. Office, clerk, everyone upstairs. upstairs. <laughs> okay. Upstairs, and also, um, like, planning and zoning, like, you know, they need envelopes to send things to members and whatever. Sure. Yeah. So all the functions that are on this floor yes. are covered under this one. Okay. Yes. I'm not going to see any other surprise. Oh, by the way, I need an additional slide. <coughs>
this year we're we're on track to to, to spend probably close to five thousand or fifty five hundred. Well, so that's we can do the calculation on that because that's three quarters spent. So we're going to spend five thousand ninety if we spend at the same rate. Okay. Well. Okay. So six might be a right thing. Just to be. Uh, there are so many unknowns with them as four business that you know, we have and we have to do these things. If mm -hmm. not, it's going to cost us a heck of a lot more mm -hmm. than if that's another. We're talking or five hundred. We're talking about an extra post right? Mm -hmm. So. All right, so what, we'll just leave it at six and move on. Then we'll, then yes, we'll be okay. IT hardware, software, service. So now this... May I speak uh, to that? Yes, 11,240. Yes, if you look on the screen, I'll bring you to how that's Perfect. calculated. Um, but at the same time, um, it, it, the note says there was... So it's there at the top. The note says that it was um, an increase due to Map Geo. Um, I don't know if you recall the point in, in paying for the Map Geo service yeah. was to reduce the traffic in my office for requests for tax cards. Is that at work? No, because <laughs> okay. um, it does not have all of the data that um, the people who request that information are looking for. Okay. Um, specifically, um, minimally square footage, in some cases, footprints. It doesn't include that? It does not include that. Well, that was the whole point, right? Yes. We're supposed to help the planning board. With well, that. so it does. So it does help the planning board if people know to use it. Not right. the planning board, but the people who are applying. Well, that's what I meant. For, Sorry, the um, people coming in. Right, applicant. So you know, it has a lot of really cool functionality that having Avatar just put tax cards up would not provide, which is um, conservation and wetland overlays, zoning overlays, lots right. of you know, and then you can put in you know a right radius, and it'll give you the It'll highlight who the abutters are you're supposed to notice and things like that. It right. has great functionality. It doesn't help with the traffic problem. Do we have any, I'm sorry, I'm not, sorry. Um, but any uh, statistics on how much is getting used? Thank you. You have my uh, <laughs> no, 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 but that is something that we could support. try can to we ask. Figure that, can we ask that? Because I've looked at it and it's been cool. I've looked at it once, but I've gone back. I don't uh -huh. know. Have you looked at it at all? Mm -hmm. no. So, I mean, are we spending $1,000 just to have the service that no one uses? I mean, if that's well, the case, why are we keeping it? I get a lot of call. I don't have, I mean, this is, this is anecdotal information, but I get calls for a lot of people who say, I tried to look at it, yeah. and it was insufficient. Okay. So, so it is getting that traffic. And are these um, residents or like? No, they're, they're public. They're okay. appraisers and insurance. Okay, well, they're, they're helping people. Real estate agents. Yeah, yeah, they're working on behalf of our residents, yes. Potential residents. Yeah. Um, I think if we can if we can gauge the traffic, yes, if, if that's something they can tell us. But that doesn't right. necessarily so. speak to are they looking for the services that that offers, or are they looking for Understood. information they're not getting? Understood. But yes, I can. But ask I mean, that question. at the very least, if, if, if no one's going to, get, this, uh, there's it's, two it's things not even on the, the landing page. It's not. Why well, don't it's. Well, it's the website is a whole other conversation. Right, we, we, we should probably talk about that. Is it on the tax website? You can search Map Geo and find it that way in the search bar. Okay. On our, our landing page there? On um, the landing page, there is a search bar. I can see that, yeah. And that oh, one, you can search. Some things you can't search for because if it's on the Google Drive, it doesn't. Um, right. Fair it's right. not searchable. Okay, so well, that's another whole separate issue. You have to. It's not out front for people to see. So, I mean, you can't can have everything <laughs> out front. <laughs> I, you know. I, yeah, I get it. Yeah, so, I so I'm I meeting with Tia right. soon to talk about better. Um, right. You know. Well, this isn't a condemnation of, of her no, her volunteer service. This is, is it if, if it's not the there, it's not accessible. No, no. And I, well, and, well, and I don't to mean to. I don't mean to. You know. I, yes, I appreciate her services, and we we have a great website. Um, and and the, the problems that I'm the problems that I'm hearing are not related to things that she can easily fix. They're structural problems in the website. Okay. Um, 
So I can't point to you to where to find Map Geo because oh. I don't spend enough time on the website looking around. You and have assessing. There you go. No, it's, it's, under, it's under one of which, the Which makes sense. So, it does make sense. You know, it makes sense. And this is hosted through the Stratford Regional Planning? We pay a subscription service with SRPC oh. for it. Yes. So this is how that line is calculated. Um, Map Geo, you can see, is under online tax cards for $1,000. Um, I, I was going to email Chad and see if the quote for having Avatar tax cards would have changed, but I believe it was $1,200 to do that. But even at that, I think you get square footage information and not footprints. That doesn't mean you want to offer footprints because some people appreciate having that information. Other people find that it's a privacy security risk. So, so, weigh that. Uh -huh. um, so how this is calculated is um, with the Google subscriptions, we currently are budgeting for 20 users. We have 17 users. One is um, officially inactive that could be reallocated to somebody else. Right. Another one is just really not using it. And you might have a conversation with that department or individual and see whether or not it makes sense to cancel that or move it. Um, it's a, it's a, a live account that we're paying for that's not used? Correct. And yeah, we could do something like that. So, um, so that's how that's calculated anyway. Okay. And then um, $3,000 for um, computer tech support yep. with Tom LaBelle. Yep. $3,000. Um, he gives us a discounted rate. It's for upstairs and downstairs. Um, downstairs has needed a lot of transitional yeah. support with... Um, Dispatching information systems. Mm -hmm. They don't have a separate line, right? This is, no, this is, this is them. This is actually everybody. If you, right. All right, so if you look to the next line, Carbonite, I need to find out how much we're paying for that. That's new. That's an automatic backup system of the upstairs computers. Okay. Um, Comcast, that's everybody. You can see on the right how that's calculated. The fire department is about $100 a month. Town Hall, $120. And the highway department is requesting, that's an addition, okay. um, and so that would be $100 a month, and then multiplying all that times 12 is how you get 3840. Okay. Um, the highway department current, so um, it would affect their telephone cell line in the highway department if you take this proposal, because we pay for them to have a wireless card, which I think is about $40 a month. Um, this would be in lieu of that. Okay. Um, they want to have wireless so that more than one person can use it at a time. Right. So if, if Ed has to email a proposal... They're, they're like, here, you, you take, the, you card. take no, the card. No, I need the card. No, you have the card. I mean, um, it, it was probably not the ideal way to handle it to begin with, but it was a way to handle it. But now that there's right. two people, it's not like kind of... So um, the RD, um, the PD tech support and domain for five hundred dollars. I don't know if that's something he still needs. That might be something that you address with him Monday night. Okay. It might be ongoing. It may not be. I don't know. Okay. Um, and then miscellaneous is about um, basically supplies and gadgets. Gadgets. Huh? We need a new um, workstation. Those UPSs go bad. He says like as much as potentially every. And I find that my UPS now works on one side and not the other side. Huh. Um, I'm, you know, so that's what it represents. Now, I had um, mentioned that Caroline, but I, I'd like to see the select person have at least one computer in there in the office if you want to come in and do work. I, I can't get my laptop for some ungodly reason. No. So, I mean, I don't care if it's a, a you know a desktop. It doesn't have to be a laptop, and it can be a refurbished one. They just need to have the means of having a place to go and sit and do whatever you have to do without fighting with the... So this line and how it's calculated does not reflect my request of the board that we start annually buying a new computer for one spot at a time. So where if is, you... Where is that? Is it not showing at all in the budget? I, I haven't added that. Like, oh, I'm giving okay. you my request verbally as we go along because I yep. have not had time to write them out. Okay. So. If you replace the assessing computer, yep. which really which should happen, yes. 
then you, the board could use that computer in that capacity until mine gets replaced, which is way more functional than yes. the assessing computer. So you don't necessarily have to budget one. If, if, you, if you like her idea, you don't necessarily have to budget for one. You should budget one for, for one anyway. And then it could be... But the assessing one, you have to budget that for that one. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, but, but let's budget to, fit, to replace things before they become real issues. Yep. So if you do one a year, yep. I'd like to see that start this year with assessing because that one, um, it's it's a 50-50 whether it starts and it takes 20 minutes to decide it's going to or not and um, that information is too critical uh -huh. to leave in that state. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So we need to add in. So however much, I, I was waiting for a quote from Tom about Does that. Does Tom give you quotes? Is he he, yes, because it? you can get school rates. Yeah. Like, you know, discount government rates. And it's for every month, yeah. So probably $400, I'm thinking, for a computer. That's a guess. I don't know. I don't, I, I'll make a note to follow up with him. Okay. And so once you get that information from plug in, we definitely need to replace the assessment computer, though. Absolutely. No, no, no doubt about yeah. it. But anyway, it's just a thought. It's like, you know, coming in here and doing some work on some project or something. So we have one desktop that um we can say where we're working, it's not the end of the world on whatever desk in the office that we're taking what we're arranging anyways, right? So mm -hmm. and that would be eventually your old computer. The other thing That's I was gonna I ask um of Tom Abel and I was discussing this with Denise, the Wi Fi is much worse on this side of the building or, or in this room, um, than the other side. You know, the front office and my office get better Wi-Fi than this. So we have a booster in the board's office. I'm not sure that it really helped a whole lot, um, but we can see if putting one here helps. There's a lot. Of, there are a lot of wi uh, a, a lot of walls and a lot of metal which interfere with the signal. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know if that would be effective or not. Is it something that you just unplug and bring it in here, or is it something? Well, yes, it, you plug it in, but you can't, you know, bringing it in here necessarily won't help because it has to draw from wherever, it has to be close enough to wherever the original signal is that it can talk to that. And w which is why even adding one here might not be effective because mm -hmm. it probably also has to be close enough to the original. And by the way, the original is downstairs near the front door. Downstairs near the front door. So near our front entrance, but downstairs in the police department. So there's a whole lot, I mean, there's a floor on top of walls. And rock. Yeah, you know. Yeah. 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 All, right. All right. So potentially we need to add four to $500 to uh, IT hardware software service line for a new computer. Right. Computer. We can, you know, so it's up to you. We could change the miscellaneous to 900 and add one computer a year, the note one computer a year. Um, on my, you're not looking at it, but it's on the screen. How that line is oh, calculated. Sorry. We'll yes. change the calculator, that bottom mm -hmm. line, yes. miscellaneous. Mm -hmm. Does that make that sense? That makes sense to me, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't think you probably 
I need to spend anything on that yeah. at this point. That can be reallocated then. Um, Cell tower leaks. What what do we have to spend money? So on? at this point, I don't think you have to spend money on that. Okay. I think if you, oh, as long as you don't change your mind, you're signing a form unless yep. unless you want legal to review it for whatever reason before you sign it. I would say no because we're not changing the term. None of the terms change. We're just extending the lease. That's my opinion. And we made that decision. So you want to remove that line? That Um, I would say do something about compliance um, because we're seeing a lot of things but we're also getting more complaints about that uh -huh. and then there's the behemoth that um, is personally bothering one of you that continues to not get addressed year after year Just cut um, four, five. Yeah, right, list two from there, and three from five all together. So, I'm not so confident that you're going to be able to take that five dollar, five five dollar, five thousand dollar away from the budget. I think you need to reallocate it, if not the whole amount, to something something close to it to compliance. And there are just issues that should be resolved and should have been resolved. And it's unfortunately going to cost us money to do it, but there are, in, in some cases, life, life safety issues. There are, there's the, just the question of fairness to every other taxpayer in town, the property owner in town, that somehow plays by the rules and pays their taxes based on does what they're allowed to do with their property and not just whatever the heck we want to do with it. And the valuation of their and the valuation and how it's of the folks that live around some of those areas. I mean it's just it's there are a few issues we still are unresolved as a town. So if there's anything any of the boards, it's just us. We need to try to focus on it. That's just my opinion. So I would suggest putting that five thousand dollars into compliance. But if, I agree. if folks want to reduce it, I don't that, think you can. I, I think there's an estimate. Can't keep on delay to delaying things. Because the longer you delay, the worse. In the one, one true ism that I know from sitting <coughs> now for almost five years is that one, it won't be enough. But two, we will, in all good faith, say we're going to resolve <coughs> issue A or B. And issue C, D, E, and F, and G will supersede all of those things we thought we were going to be able to work on that we don't even know about it, that, that are happening right now. <coughs> I think we're being realistic putting that there. I mean, I, I, I don't want to spend it on that. I'd rather actually reduce it by 50000 but I, I don't think we can. I, sorry, I'm going to stop talking now. But are we okay with that? I'm okay with that. I'm okay. <coughs> reallocating the line with the understanding that if we need to, I mean, we can move. If that 24 needs to go more engineering, we can move within professional services. Mm -hmm. right. All right, uh, advertising. So it looks like in 2017 we spent 8 <coughs> and in this year we are up to 600. What does this cover? So the reason it was so high last year, I believe it was last year that there was a special election, a special <coughs> town meeting to over land. Was that, that affected, or was that the 
year before. That was the year before. Was it the year before? Okay. Um, but this also this covers like if we have to advertise the newspaper so for positions. It's for um, all sorts of things like that. Yeah. It's hiring, hiring. positions. It's yeah. also um, certain notices have to go in the paper, um, such as a special town meeting. Um, some of the um, I don't think I don't think elections has her own um, advertising, but some of the those things are supposed to go in the paper. Um, when um, bid documents, if you want to put something out to bid, sometimes that would go in the paper. What does an ad in the paper cost? Um, like more than it should. It, it depends on the number of words, of course, but it's like one hundred eighty dollars, one hundred sixty. It depends. It's it's ridiculously high. Unfortunately, sometimes you just have to use a computer to do it. Yeah. But it's, Some things were. Um, it's by the word, isn't it? I believe so. Yeah. And there are different places in the paper that cost different amounts as right. well. Yeah. Um, and you know, for our purposes, it just needs to be in the paper. Um, but if you're not careful, they will put it under legal notices, which is a more expensive place to put it. So. sure that we are because I don't, don't I'm not sure if there's a need to do anything between now and the end of the year. So that's a monthly expense. It's not one that we're done with. Right. All right. But it varies. Right. It's all a function of the market, right? So the real estate market. Are we say, are we finally just leaving at three fifty? Do we want to um, do we feel like we may have to make three fifty? I think it's probably be safe at three fifty. Yeah. It's probably enough somewhere else if we have to move something. But title searches, that's also uh, That's an interesting question, and I used to know what that is for. Like, for, so it does definitely relate to town land. Mm -hmm. um, if there is a sale, for example, if you are selling town land, um, but I know that it has stuff beyond that. Okay. I'll check with Andrea because she's right. the one that expends from that okay. line. All right. Well, we'll leave that seven fifty then for now. Reimbursable expenses. Yes, which is a calculator. Yes. Yeah. This includes uh, booth details? Um, no. Oh, no. No, this is for accidents. Okay. Um, shelter fees is 500 so like mm -hmm. if um, somebody, somebody's dog is wandering around yes, and we put them in the shelter, that costs quite a bit more than that, I think. Uh, yes, about. and so, yes, so the shelter fee line is overspent and it really should go under, rever you know, if you, uh, it could be moved to reimburse sure. expenses. I didn't realize the calculator included that. Okay. Um, bank fees are reimbursed when people bounce checks. Uh -huh. um, so there's the accidents. Um, police, you know, I don't know what damage specifically that speaks to, and signs, because they get hit in accidents as well. If they are to be replaced, um, like insurance funded, right. or like court fees would reimburse that, right. potentially. Right. 
So the idea there is that you are getting income to match those expenses. Mm -hmm. and, and theoretically, things are not going in that line unless we are expecting or receiving insurance funds right. or some other kind of reimbursement for it. So it looks like this year we have about 6,500. And in 2017, we have about 68. So budget increased drastically last year because we had um, a few of our, um, our, our poli one police vehicle and the one or two, or at least one highway vehicle that was involved in accidents that were um, quite costly to us. And we didn't have the ability, right? We did not have that, so it came out of their vehicle repair and maintenance, so it affected their ability to, I mean, you, you still do what you have to do, but it, it, it cut, yeah. It was not budgeted to have accidents. Right, and so far as this year, we've been good, but I know I just jinxed us, but um, it could be prudent to, uh, to reduce that line. Consider looking at the calculator to pick yep. a category. Um, I, you could do vehicle accidents and highway department assigned, and they're assigned by half. And vehicle accidents and the So, just keep in mind we have very little trend information. That's true too. And and we, you know, last year we spent an inordinate amount on two or three accidents in the highway department. That is true. Yeah. Winter is slippery and dangerous. Yeah. What do you think, Denise? I think we should leave it where it is. So, but just to clarify my understanding, we get reimbursed. Like, no matter what the budget for this is. Um, and this is this is a uh, cushion. Well, until we no, get okay. you get okay. So let's just say that a dump truck gets in an accident. Mm -hmm. We have to pay to get it fixed. Yep. Unless you have a line to accept the the reimbursement, you can't use that reimbursement to offset the cost of uh, of the right of the of the well, accident. Well, you can. You're just putting it in repairs That's and maintenance, right. and it's coming out of your repair. It's, it's okay. disabling your repair and maintenance right. line. Yep. So to your point, though, um, whatever this line is, you're raising that with tax dollars yep. that you may or may not, and you may or may not spend that much. Right. Right. The, the income will match it, so it's a wash. And so, you know, the next year, it doesn't really affect the tax rate, but in the year in which you are budgeting it, it does, it does. if that yep. makes sense. So, for example, this coming year, there's eight or nine thousand dollars we budgeted. When we raised through taxes, we didn't spend. So that should positively impact the tax rate. So whatever, so whatever's in the budget that you don't spend mm -hmm. goes to fund balance. Okay. Um, and you want your fund balance in a certain range, yep. um, and then you can use fund balance while keeping it in that range to offset the tax rate. So yes, you've raised that money. You have whatever ten thousand dollars you didn't spend goes into fund balance. Yep. But you're also not anticipating revenue. You're not receiving the revenue. So not having the revenue that you expect it also affects the tax rate in the same in the same way. So while having revenue and expenses that you do use is a wash, also having them unused in a matching manner, you know, reduces the tax rate in the same way, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So I, I think we can leave it as is. All right, leave it as is. As a, as a short term interest. We can probably get rid of that line unless there is a bond issue. It depends on whether or not, you know, 
That's why that line is created. Alright, but before we move off of that, that's what we've seen maybe a hairy gorilla somewhere or elephant or whatever animal we want to choose. How are we uh, coming along with uh, We're going to have a potential police. answer in the next week or two about land. Okay, so why don't we just do this then? Why don't we leave the line? We can come back and, 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 and do whatever we need to. So it's, it's only a dollar, right? Keeping the line open. So, so what is this? Police so station. Oh, okay. We know which building we want. So we know that dollar amount. But it's where, where you're going to put it. And so there's there's uh, potentially a place that we'll have an answer on, yes or no, within the next few weeks. Okay. Well, I'll leave it there then, and we'll look forward to hearing that report. So, <laughs> all right. Um, contingency. Contingency is a calculator. Um, the calculator is that it's 1% of last year's operating budget. So that's an automatically calculated number that you can override, but you cannot increase above that. You cannot increase. You can, you can decrease. Okay. And it's what, 2209? That's a really, I mean, I can check the calculator and see, I'm you know. doing the most quick math in my head. Right. Um, it seems like the 2018, that makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. it's this let, me let me see where, where that pulls from. Mm -hmm. Oh, it goes... Last year. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I Good job, though. That changed because the road maintenance went into the okay went into the operating budget. Oh, right. And also, you've got debt service. This would be used in the event that we exhaust the other. Yeah, other I mean, lines. if you blow out the legal line yep. or you know any other line, you could pull from there rather than pulling from another. Yeah, other places. Um, I would love to see more of a trend. I mean, it looks like in 2017, zero was taken. Um, it's only so it's been one percent for the past three or four years, and before, like maybe three years, and before that there wasn't a, it, it was a dollar amount, and it wasn't one it wasn't percent. Right. Okay. And this year we spent 7,700. Well, there's 7,700 in there, but um, mm -hmm. Denise, we should talk about that in our rebudgeting, mm -hmm. because you can see that the revised budget for this year is zero. Mm -hmm. So Suzanne, before she left, took all that money and dispersed it elsewhere. Um, but I still have expenses coming out of there. So those expenses have to get reallocated or else we have to at least keep the 77 in there for this year. So the real answer is no. <laughs> or yes, I guess. We have, we have spent that, but really but it's a misnomer because we we just reallocated those yeah. funds so they were they were necessary. And I don't know really where she put them. Put them. Um Denise and I were, are working on the revised budget. So okay. that may not answer the question where did she put it, but mm -hmm. you'll have a new revised budget that shows you Perfect. where we've spent things and what's going on. Okay. I almost feel like we can level it. I don't know. I, it just seems like a really large jump mm -hmm. um, because of the formula. And mm -hmm. I think it's kind of an air caution. That's just me. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's a lot of stuff in this, in this is very good, but it's a guess. 
budget for lines and department heads and under departments, mm -hmm. they have the authority to spend that money. Only the board really has control over the executive lines and, and that line. So, you know, just because you budget for it doesn't mean it's necessarily going to get spent. Whereas if you put it under a department, yes. they're going to say, I have my bottom line and, yeah. and it's more likely to get spent. Yep. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we can. We just had some really big things happen this year here. Yeah. Um, with the AC system and, you know, huge amount of dollars that was not planned. And the longer we're here, the more that's going to happen, is, in my opinion. And it's hard to determine what it's going to be because yeah. what's the next thing that's going to happen? Well, was here, but we spent $11,000 to repair one AC unit yeah. that was downstairs. We have three other AC units in this building of the same age. Yeah. Three. So it's, yeah, I mean, it's, it's the uncertainty. Yeah, we had a, we have a, generator in the back that had not been maintenance. had uh, preventative maintenance done to call for this for I don't think they ever had maintenance done. So right. preventative maintenance had not been done on it, I guess. So so things like that that popped up that we weren't necessarily uh, aware of or, or planning when we did the budget the year before so we were we're going through this process. So, so what one does at their home doesn't necessarily
learn it because you know, you I, know. I, I don't get to say it to be mean, man. You know, I really don't. No, no, but no. I, but I really I'm do just appreciate saying, all the Oh, did, yes. But, but the death part is at a disadvantage. It was just like what we talked about with Ed. I mean, Ed took everything on. Yeah. And when, because of that, there weren't those redundancies. I mean, right. Well. I mean, or Bev. I mean, there were just these two people that did everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And because of that, I mean, some things people don't know. You know, it's just, mm -hmm. it, I think this is a better way to do this. I, I think, think it's eye Thank you. You know, for sitting through this entire process. We, we didn't do it this way in the past oh. couple of cycles. Um, Someone just did it. And, and then we reviewed it. I mean, we still had a very thorough review process, yep. but it was it was just, this well, is more time consuming for sure, but yeah. I think this is the more prudent way to do this. I mean, for me to understand what goes into the food system. Mm -hmm. Right, and it's important very because I, I'm, on my camera, I would say this out anyways, I was like, I'm very much as disadvantaged as you are as a very new member because we didn't do this this way and I I mean I sort of invited my wife to understand how the recruiting system works, mm -hmm. that process works. That's not what I'm saying. It's just how we were crafting and how we were I, I, mean, I, I would not know how to set up a spreadsheet like this. I don't I'm very honest with that. I don't know how to set up all the formulas. It's not my thing. <laughs> but I'm very appreciative of the fact that someone did that for us. Mm -hmm. Really, really am. So I, I don't, I, I'm not trying to say this to be cruel or anything. I just, I just very want to say thank you to both of you. You're welcome. And to, to Caroline for taking the time to do it this way. Because I think that it's better serves us and the community as a whole. So I will leave it there. So, all right. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, that being said, uh, let's go to actually before... I would suggest we not take on personnel administration at the moment because health insurance, all of that. Why those we are, we'll know those, we'll know all of the insurance questions. Right, we don't have the information we need to, to make right. intelligent decisions, I don't think, at this moment. So, government buildings, are we planning and zoning maybe? We do that and then we can do government buildings because I think we, we can handle, we can knock that one out pretty easy, I think. Um, so, so that's page, top of page four. Um, what I would remind you about planning and zoning is John Radigan's recommendation that you have all professional service fees go through here, yeah. which is not currently the case. So right. for example, Chinberg is going to apply, um, and, and you all probably don't know this, but um, Chinberg is going to ask the town um, to accept its new right. subdivision at town meeting. The road up By the way, it's still street? called town meeting, even though we're SB2. No, I know. It. I, it's, but it's confusing um, the people. They think, oh, I'm going to come to this meeting. I'm like, no, it's, oh. it's different. Right, that whole, Scout. yeah, Scouts Landing. So they're going to ask the town to take over that road. Have they completed it? Um, they had Jay Stevens. So um, Jay Stevens went out and did the final review with the road agent and Chinberg and Severino to look at it to um, make sure they've done whatever they need to do before they do a final top coat. Okay. They, I don't know if they've done it, but that was on their mind to do, and okay. then they will submit some kind of formal request to the board to put it on the warrant. Okay. I don't want to go down the rabbit hole here, but did they ever do anything with the curbs in the driveway? Is it still little tar ramps? I don't know, but I encourage you to reach out okay. to... We so should double check that, Miles, but remember what they told us, Severino told us, because there were complaints about it, mm -hmm. um, that... There's no good way. Like I said, they didn't want to talk about it. But um, I don't, maybe you're not aware of it, Denise, but there's like these little berms at the top of each driveway up there. Um, we were told they would go away when they did the top coat, right? Uh, Is that what I think they did? That it would ameliorate the concern of bottling out be, your car as you right. go in the driveway. When they did the, uh, the handwork, is that what they call it? When they go at time yeah, the, the aprons, driveway? Yes. Yeah. So the aprons, thank you. Um, okay. But you know, we actually have to make sure, we hold them accountable, make sure they actually do do that. Yeah. So. But you need a process for that. Like, how do you how do you reach out to like you know, go knock on doors and say, are you happy with your, you know, just well, be thinking I, about how does that happen? I think it's I think in my mind. I mean, I'm just one member. In my mind, it's the road agent going along with um, the town engineer um, and looking at it and seeing if it meets standards. And if it doesn't, our standards. I mean, the town has a set of standards. I don't want to say this to be rude to anyone who may live up there. It's not really up to them to decide 
whether or not right. at this point in the process, whether they like exactly what that looks like, it's what the town as a whole has decided. And, and also the approved plan. Right, the approved plan. Is. So that's what really I think we need. I don't think it, we need to go knocking on doors, although I think yeah. that is a good thing. But and it is, I mean, because you don't want to, you know, people just don't want money for those. We just need to make but, sure that we have a process yeah, and the right. people who are involved in that process are aware of the expectations and yeah. that it happens. Mm -hmm. Um, and you know, I'm not I'm not sure whether that's happening. So, right. um, so we should have a conversation with George, um, either Miles or myself, only because we're familiar with the planning board. What happened? With it, what's the process with that? Or back up. Miles and I were not on the planning board. Correct. The subdivision was approved. We just inherited the little Durham issue. <laughs> that's all. That's uh, it's done long before we we got on. So. But we're familiar with the issue, is my point. So we should have that conversation with George, who then can go and look and see, okay, this is what the plans say, it, along with Stevens, right? I mean, he, that's, he's the town. So the that's the board's call, because right. it's going to be the town's road, and you are the purveyor Listen, of... We have system. issues with, um, what's the little one, the little cul-de-sac, um, Captain Lamb, was it? Uh, um, Turcock. There's issues with that. Right. Well, yes, but that so, was also built to be a private road that should not have, with the intention that it would never be accepted by the town, and then it was. But it was, like, but and we were told at town meeting that year, I don't remember which select board member said it, but that he went over and checked it, and it looked good to him. Well, that's not the person not who an knows engineer, the road standards. And, yeah. and if we're going to be, you know, maintaining this road forever going forward, I want to make sure it's actually done to the right standards, and we're not inheriting... Right. I don't want to fix it. Or it's okay. fixed before. Well, right. I don't want to expect the town's people getting stuck fixing errors that should have been. But, but also, right the first time. in the best interest of the residents who live on a road that may not be able to accommodate a fire truck. Right. You know, you right. remember that was exactly. one of the bigger concerns. Right. No, yeah, there's that too. I mean, there's. Right. Um, so, as the budget is concerned, Jay, you know, the reason I brought this up is that Jay Stevens recently went out with the road agent to mm -hmm. evaluate progress so far and make mm -hmm. recommendations and see that the plan was being met. So mm -hmm. that transaction is happening between Schinberg and civil consultants, and it's not going through the town because <coughs> it affects our budget, even though it's completely reimbursed. Um, that's not best practice because right. we don't know that people get paid. And that's one of the recommendations by Attorney Radigan. Yes. That um, it flows to the town, and I think it makes sense. I mean, for the same reason that we're we're requiring that plans be recorded by us now. I mean, just just to make sure that it's being done and it's being paid for. Yeah. Um, we wouldn't necessarily know what happens if if it doesn't flow through us. Well, yes and eventually, no. Eventually. Yes and no. I mean that. They're also working for us. Jay Stevens right. he is works representing for us. the town. He doesn't work for yeah. Chimber. He works for us. So, right. or whoever we hire, doesn't have to be that firm, but they work for us, so it should be coming through the town. Yep. That was one thing that Radigan was very clear about, that there are certain best practices that we're not performing, that we really should be, and it's to protect the town, it's not. So what's the recourse to going against the developer who paid them directly? You mean, you mean if we continue status quo with the negative effects, potentially? Is that what you're Well, I'm just saying, we hired the gentleman, he got, and then he paid the gentleman. I mean, what is, we gotta t tell him he can't do that anymore, right? Well, we, you know, we would have to inform people. I mean, Jay's, you know, people check in with us about how are we gonna do this. It, it would not be difficult to say, this is how this is gonna work now. Right. But also, if we hire several consultants, you, they need to tell them, no, the town also pays me. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, and they would. Okay, They're very we, good that way. We hired them, yes. not them. Yes. So, well, and that's another risk is people having, you know, everything should go through the town so that we're aware of what's going on. We wouldn't want contractors reaching out to our professional services people and, and, and it's all happening but outside of this office, and we don't know what's going on. And then we get so they're having a conversation. Or, something happened. Or, or we don't, don't even, even or we and there's don't. advice going yeah. back and forth yeah. that's on our behalf, and we're not aware of it. Right. And we got to start. And to be sure, sure the town is that. a pass through. We're not really paying. Yeah. We will pay the bill, yeah. but it's all yeah. reimbursable from the 
from the uh, yeah. applicant. So right, right. But still, if we hire somebody, they need to be saying that they they yeah. get paid by Rollins. So, so we need to add a lot. With that being said, where are we going to add that? Um, in I, I would suggest that you put it under planning consultants and just add it to that line. Okay. And we can make a note. We can change the note that's there. Currently, it denotes how many hours at what rate. Okay. Um, and, and you may want to take into, you know, we don't seem to, I don't know. Um, I don't know. So we've spent about $4,000 so far in that line. Um, I don't know how far through the year but, that represents, because he, but he builds But that also includes... Writing is training. Right. No, it was It was supposed to be free. It was supposed to be free. And that's what John Krebs believed to be free. Oh. Uh, and then the There's town received a, a bill from uh, from Attorney Wright again for his services. Okay. It was uh, less than $1,000. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, okay. Yes, Mr. Krebs wasn't pleased about it either. Probably not as concerned as we probably were. But <laughs> Uh, not to be cool a job, but I mean, you can imagine it was probably a little more concerned to us. But he did offer a paper out of his own pocket, oh. which did not yeah. seem fair to the select board at the time because it was a town function and it really it, you can't penalize employees. It was beneficial. I just think we would have approached it differently. I yes. don't so disagree with that statement at all. But I think everybody would say we, it. Yes. Um, anyways, so. Yes, um, it is. So when you look at that line, the four thousand dollars, that doesn't re um, that's not just John Krebs, even though it was budgeted to be just yep. John Krebs based on the note. Yes. So is he up to date with billing? That that was my point. Okay. I don't know that he is, and I think yeah. he's probably not. He doesn't he's bill monthly. Something. He bills like every two or three months when he gets yeah. out. Yeah, wasn't that the last? Flight. But he did. Um, that's he true. Was at the meeting, but that doesn't mean he. he but was he did doing write up stuff. He, so. he, <coughs> he did the evaluation for it, right? Yes. So you get paid for that. And he will be uh, involved with uh, redrafting of um, so, zoning ordinances or, or site yes, plans. Yes, there's that to consider. Right, so we've got a, a few proposed changes already, I think, right? And then um, and the invoice came in uh, August uh, from John. So and that was, can you pull it up? Because it might have been, it was probably June and uh, um, July and August, like the end of August. What, what period did it represent? Uh, July 11th to August 14th. So. Okay, so you're eight months through the year. So you still have four months worth to pay for. So in September, he didn't attend the meeting, but he did a review for us. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So. so I don't think there should be an issue with um, with um, staying within the means of um, the bounds of, of the current budget. I don't think because he, he's aware of that when he, when we um, when we asked him if there would be enough room within the um, existing budget to pay that thousand dollars out to pay right again, he didn't see any issue with that at all. So he's aware of that. He needs to <coughs> a limit his um, activities to stay within that. So, so I'm not worried about that as much. But um, <coughs> excuse me, I do think the planning consulting line. It makes sense to have that. Um, fees for, um, for engineering and that for, for oversight. I'm not thinking of the right word, but anyways. How much do we think needs to be in there? What, um, how much do they cost um, off the top of your head? <laughs> Roughly. $800 to $1,000 maybe? For stellar funding. For, to review up for students. Well, well, so that's the other thing. I don't know if I don't see it. Right. Well, that's right, right. So, you know, Bluen, you know, some of Bluen ran through my office. Mm -hmm. um, so I would say, you know, $1,000 per major project. It's not the little projects, necessarily. Right. It's so we have, <coughs> excuse me, their, their intention is to have, uh, um, is it Wentworth Street? Is that what it is? Yes. Wentworth Street um, on the town warrant for March. So I don't know if you have to separately have Pleasant Street, because they did modify and put a house on the end of Pleasant Street. Just as a point of order. Okay. You know. So, but regardless of whether or not it includes the two streets or the one street, it's going to be for this March, this coming March. That is their right? goal. That's their goal. Okay. Well, that's their goal. All right. It may 
not going to get out of it though, so. We still have Bluin, it's an ongoing project. How much more site work though? <coughs> he hasn't actually really started the front site work, has he? I, don't, I haven't been all back, I don't know what he's done, but he's got permits for it all, but. Um, so there's going to be that. And that will be, that's a major project, right? With major review. Um, a few thousand there. I'm hoping that um, um, Scout Landing is resolved by then, but let's just say it's not. That'll help us. There's another thousand dollars. There's potentially, <coughs> excuse me, on um, Shady Lane. Depending on what the ZBA says, is it they made an application to the ZBA, didn't they? They have. It's not been heard. No, but I mean, so oh, they're going to. They're going to the, the yeah. ZBA, right? So, I, if 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 they are denied the request of the ZBA, then there there are other. If they still want to build on that classic road, they would need to bring it up. From what the planning board said, they would need to bring it up to Class Five standards. Or they can go to the planning board and ask for a waiver from that condition if they... They could do that too, right? You're right. They could do that. But let's just say they don't. I, mean, I, I don't know this for a fact. Let's just say they don't. We're still going to have to send our engineer out there to ensure that that, that road has been brought up to mm -hmm. class 5 standards. So that's also potentially that we need to be thinking about. And I don't think... The one on Fresh Creek was denied, right? So that's... His intention is to merge his two roads. Okay, so that's... We don't have to worry about that, right? Are there any other? What about the one off of Clement River? There's oh, been yeah. no activity yeah. for construction. Um, have they not built anything? Have they they have that? There's no puzzle stuff. Right? Okay. But that's um, a good point, too. Yep. Yeah. Whether they finish that in the next year and. Well, in the planning board, I think, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, might review best thing with that project at some point. Correct. So. Uh, I think but, but it is a potential. Um, the Oldenburg Lane, or whatever they want to call it. I don't know, but there's also the potential of you know a lot, you know, any number of open swaths of land that we have. That but are we not know protected. for sure that one's already right. been started. So, yes. so right, there's another. I don't know how much it would cost to do that, I and mean, that's a lengthy uh, road as well. Mm -hmm. There's a cul-de-sac at the bottom, I believe. If I remember correctly. Right now. I think we lend it on a cul-de-sac. Right? Yeah. Several thousand dollars at this point that would need to be, but there would be offsetting revenue. Well, right, it's just like reimburse revenue. expenses, and that's another way to put it. If you don't want to put it here, by the way, so yeah. put it in the reimburse expenses. Yeah, here. I think it probably makes more sense there because then, mm -hmm. because it otherwise could. it looks like you're yeah. way way in the. Yeah, that might make more sense down there. What about um? So the only exception to that, most of it goes to the reimbursable lines, right? The exception to that is the police details, right? Don't they have that separate in their, in their budget? They, yes. I'm just trying to think if there are other examples of doing yeah, this within the department's budget, or consistent. if it makes more sense to go into this consolidated line. Mm -hmm. so. Honestly, to me, it, I can go either way. It makes sense to keep it to me under planning because then folks can actually see, okay, this is where it's going, this is why it's there for for ease, I guess we could put it under the other one. I mean I don't could we add a line here for reimbursable. You could do that too. That may more make thank you, it might make more sense than putting, a, putting that under the planning as yeah. well. Because that could get very yeah. confusing, you're right. Now, what the heck, why are we Increasing this guy or woman's whoever we have well, salary you by also five thousand dollars or whatever you know. I mean, what, what, what are they doing? You also have the notes column, and you have the opportunity to create a narrative if I get that, somebody's going to do that for the budget committee in the town meeting. Right. Yeah. Okay. So I, I think we should create a new one under okay. under planning. I think that's and, and call it reimbursable. Reimbursable. Yeah. Or reimbursable services or something yeah. like that. Yeah. That, that covers it. And it's just a stab. Five thousand was a reasonable number. I mean, just given those 
potential projects, I, I think that that's... that's, I mean, that's keeping in mind that we have to we have to raise and appropriate this money. I mean, I get that there's potentially an offsetting revenue, but if we don't, we don't have offsetting revenue, you've just raised five thousand dollars that you didn't have to raise. You know, so I want to make sure we're fair to all of us that are paying our taxes. You know, so. Mm -hmm. So. We don't know. It's our first time doing this. Maybe five is too much. Maybe it's not enough. Do we split the difference and say twenty five hundred? I mean, I don't. It's it's this uh, it's, it's so many unknowns. I don't. Small budget. It's not going to be counted. It it will not be part of that because the default budget doesn't have anything that's new. Right. Right. In which case we continue with you know. But you still have a reimbursable ex, um, expense in the budget and in that location. Does that still? Yeah. Well, so this is where we still have to spend the time to research the laws about how a default budget is constructed. Yeah. yeah. Um, because it, I, I would argue that an increase in an amount is also new, likely. We, yeah. we have to find out. We have our work cut out for us. Yeah, but it's a good point. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. Well, okay. We have an imperfect system now. Mm -hmm. So if um, we plan for, uh, worst case scenario we'll call it, that the budget doesn't pass and we go to default budget, this work will still get done. It will, the money will just pass through, it will not pass through the town, it will continue, continue under the, the system that we have. But that's worst case scenario. It's going to get done, in my mind, at least the, the review will get done one way or another. This is a, we've already been told it's a best practice we should be doing. Mm -hmm. I hope that, you know, that we will be crafting a reasonable budget with the budget committee that all will be able to um, support. Maybe not, maybe that's time that's coming, I don't know. But, um, so let's, let's stick it in there at, pick a, someone pick a number. I don't, I've thrown two out. <laughs> someone suggests a third, I don't care. I mean. It's really just out of a hat, and we don't know. I mean, I mean, to, I think five thousand to to be um, on the safe side. You guys know more about that kind of person. I mean, I, do, so I, I mean, it's just I, that's what I mean. Yeah, I mean, I, I hate. Like I said, I don't want to appropriate money. Yeah, you don't have there's, to appropriate. There's at least that much money that. But those are the projects that are out there. Right. Um, I, I, honestly, I really hope. Uh, I don't care vote on it, but I hope that we don't have to pay. Folks that are wanting to shady lane, they don't have to pave it yeah. because well, one that would be review that we don't have to worry about. But uh, for MS4 problems, is what I'm, what I'm thinking. Yeah. So then we don't have to worry about that one. So we take that one. But we don't know because the well, when are when are they scheduled to go to the CBA? They're not yet because they have not submitted the application. Oh, they haven't. Yet. I thought they did. No. I no. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, no, who knows? But I thought you said they did. I, I may have said that, but I misspoken. So it, it, they, they have the application, and they have. Oh, I misunderstood. They have so indicated they have the intent. We I just do you. not have the complete application. But we may have a decision before we have to make this decision finally. So we could, you know, deduct some from there too. So we yeah. wanted to say five for right now. And we can come back. I mean, obviously, we can come back on any of these lines. So. Yep. All right, that's five more we can add to the budget. Okay. So planning. Let me also say, because we're in this category, that I sent a request to the board to increase that secretary's grade. Yeah. Um, so I would ask you to consider that. Right now, it's calculated as an ATB over the previous budget. But she does a lot besides take minutes. She yeah. does research in our unfindable right. plans. Um, she does all of the notices. She does a lot of um, work that is um, not brainless by any means. Right. But it's not like other recording secretaries where they attend the meetings, they record and write, the meetings, and, and then they they're done. The minutes, right. It and then they may done. be done. For both zoning, it's the same person. So for both zoning and planning, there are additional duties that aren't in, in, in other, with other recording secretaries. That's what it always is called. Yeah. Well, planning secretarial. Planning, okay. Planning secretarial. Zoning secretarial. Yeah. So it's not just, just writing the minutes.
Yes, it truly is. She uh, does work, and she comes in here a so lot as a result of that. So what, what are you... What and she's are you posting using? in the paper because all those are required, you know. Yeah, so, so it's not... And she interacts a lot with the public over what are the fees going to be, what's the schedule going to be, right. what are my next steps, what's missing, has somebody replied about my next steps, and, and all that. So. And we'll be working with Angie to record, too. Oh, so yes. She'll be, she'll be looking for those fees and everything to... Yes. So, and there are... What is her rate? To, uh, 1071. 1071. Okay. And what are we suggesting? Was it 11, 1150? What were you? I suggested 12, but that's right. up to the board. I think that doesn't even reflect what she does, but that's, you know. So what are we really talking about? If we increase to planning secretarial, the budget amount was $819. Right. You know, what would be helpful is to see those budget dollars be hours instead of dollars. Yeah, right. So that you can right. trend right. hours. Right. Um, I, can, I can try to do that. And that might be very it. helpful, actually. So, mm -hmm. so just for, so, so everyone recognizes, we're talking about a 25, if we just went with a 3%, we're talking about a $25 increase on that line. Yeah, it's really not so, significant. So what does that, what is a bringing the, the salary up to $12, what is that, you know, we, we need that information, like, what is the proposed change, and is it not going to be that much more than 25, it's going to be a, a percentage that we get that, but when you actually look at the actual dollars, it's not, yeah, it's, not, it's, not, um, it's not a huge increase, so, <clears throat> considering the level of work that we're, we're getting out of the person, so, I mean, it's, it doesn't seem unreasonable to me, but, Yeah, so yeah. can we hold it then? Yes. I, I would prefer to hold the table yeah, for now and come back when we have that information. Mm -hmm. So I, I, yeah, a very visual person. Well. She, so. she gets the same for zoning as, yes. mm -hmm. okay. as for planning. It is nice that the, well, it was the same person before too, so it's, it's nice to have that consistency, I think. Um, all right, so planning consultants. the planning board with um, their deliberations um, and reviews, but the person works for the select board. Um, and, and he understands that, and he's very clear about that too. Have, you know, when we rehired him you know, a couple of years ago, um, we, haven't, we haven't discussed recently, we talked about it briefly last year, or maybe it was the year before, whether or not we want to continue utilizing his services or do we want to look elsewhere? Yes. And so that reminds me that this line, the 100 hours that were budgeted, including, included the intent of training time. And that hasn't been happening. And I don't know. Um, my off-the-record understanding is that he's very busy. And that's why it hasn't come up. But I don't know if there's been discussions well, but, but since before I was on the planning board about that. Well, well, so I don't know. directed him to, so it's. It could be, uh, yeah, so, so I don't know. Um, a little bit of both, I think. Some of the fault falls on us and on him, I guess. He would conduct training? That was yeah. the goal. Um, so the alternative idea that the select board discussed last year was hiring SRPC to do both planning consulting and training. You <coughs> could use, if you're going to keep that line with that intent, you could see if SRPC would do just training if you want to keep. And SRPC was our planning consultant years ago, from what I understand. Um, I wasn't involved with the planning board then. Um, getting information from a former chair, he wasn't chair at the time, that the planning board as a whole was not pleased with services they, re they received from SRPC. I wasn't involved, I'm just telling you what I was told. I don't know if that's true or not. I have a reason to believe it was. Or is it true? But um, that 
that doesn't mean they're all new people there, though, now. You have to recognize that, too. The people at SRTC are not the same people that were there 20 years ago or 10 years ago or, okay, it's even five years ago. Um, so, I mean, it, is it beneficial to look at it again? I don't know. I have a good working relationship with Mr. Krebs. I don't have any problems with him. I don't know. Miles has been, I work with him more as the chair, so. Um, I think he's been a great resource for us. Um, generally knows answers off the top of his head, has, has guided us through some tricky situations. Um, I mean, if it's a matter of cost, I mean, I don't know if we want to get a quote from that. Well, I was going to say, I don't know, so that's what my, my next point is going to be. It takes time to... to any alternative. All, to any, any, alternative. any alternative, right? So if, if, if there's no displeasure from the select board in the service we're, we're, we're receiving, doesn't seem to make sense to me to spend all that time looking elsewhere. But I mean, I'm just one person, so I, there will be deficiencies. No matter the one true thing I think is true, there will be deficiencies with no matter who is the consultant. I don't think that you're going to get the whole package from any one person. Right. Right. I just don't. I like the idea of seeing if SRTC can do training. Yeah, I'm mean, looking to. Do that that would, what kind of rate that would be? Yeah, that would make more sense. That that as a package is a hundred dollar, right? Um, yes, mm -hmm. yes, that's why. Yeah. We just need to remember that it falls on us so as a board to make it to manage that, and it, which is kind of strange because it's done to the planning board, but it's not the planning board's employee. All right. Um, just, just a, a question. So, should the select board? Um, so, I've I've been um, asking John to do reviews of things. Should that really go through the select board? Of uh, um, review of um, plans. ordinances and no site plans. And no, I. No, I don't think so. I think that the. I would think that the the, the case specific, um, like ma um, management, in my mind, I mean, should, should the, the planning board chair and, and secretary and, and consultant should work together on case votes. Okay. The select board should be, in my mind, should be directing him or her um, for a larger picture. Like the trainings, um, reminding yeah. that person that okay, don't forget, we have a budget of sixty five hundred dollars that you've, you've agreed to perform certain services. This is what we expect to see, you know, in this month. This is what we'd like to see in that month. Working with, but not working in a vacuum. Working with the planning board chair because the chair is, is, is setting the agenda and, and, and organizing. But there may also be a role with the planning consultant with projects who's, you know, which have a scope beyond just the planning board, mm -hmm. like Classics Roads, that you know, involve yep. the select board. Yep. You know, I don't know if there would have been... He worked with us on... Um, yeah, on but you could board. potentially have him come to a meeting to talk to the whole board rather than just the planning board. Well, I was going to say, yes, that's exactly right. He should have been involved from the get-go. We should have had him come in. And talk to um, when the applicant came in. I don't remember how long ago at this point. Two years ago at this point, I believe, at least. Um, it would have been good to bring in Craig and Clark, and we will do that moving forward. I hope. Um, I also heard a comment but, from people on the ZBA that there it may be prudent to have him review cases that go before them. I don't know if that's conflict, but yeah, to help them understand issues and plans. We'll look into that, I guess. I and, and maybe he becomes a non-voting member of the ZBA or something. That's another whole bag yeah, of worms. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. But I don't know if there's a conflict there or not. But I don't know. The statutes say we can have, and we do now, have a member of the planning board sit on the ZBA. There. Uh, so it's a sort of conduit between the right. two boards, which is a good thing, which we hadn't been doing in the past. Um, right. so but that member doesn't 
doesn't necessarily, for, for more complicated cases, doesn't necessarily understand the implications on a plan and can relay them to the rest of that body. Right, right. So we should look into whether or not it's um, appropriate to have the... Yeah. Uh, I can ask, separate I can from, ask legal from the budget process. We should be thinking about that. That's a good point that we should be thinking about that. And it's also a way, though, within the budget to be thinking about how we utilize its employees to its fullest potential. Right. So when you consider the 100 hours and how to spend them. 100 hours does not, is not a lot of hours. So. Yeah. We're dealing with this stuff. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. <coughs> okay. okay. Um, where we you, you were in government buildings. We have we gotten there yet? We were, I thought yeah, we were you talked planning. about the janitor. Uh, uh, um, so the janitor is at an automatic calculation with the ATV. Okay. All right. Um, mm -hmm. Supplies in town hall, I would direct you to the janitor's request. You can see that that's already overspent. And it's overspent because it includes not just cleaning supplies and paper products, um, but it also includes the cleaning rental agreement of the mats in this oh, building, yes. which is both upstairs and downstairs. Yep. He also has a request for um, purchasing new chairs for this room. Mm -hmm. um, so that request is not, the supplies in town hall, I don't know if it should be split into other categories or not. Um, I did not incorporate his request into that line. So it was 
was originally it's created for cleaning and for paper mm -hmm. products and okay. that kind of stuff. Yeah. Okay. But it is now including the mats because there's nowhere else to put the mats. And if I'm reading Richard's, if I'm reading Richard's um, memo to the correct one, so it says he needs an additional eight hundred dollars to, to cover the mats. Yeah. If you're going to take that interval. Okay. <coughs> I'm, over paying, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm, maybe I'm just being obtuse. I don't mean to be. I'm not understanding. How are we paying for the mats? Yeah. Um, that, that's a really great question. I don't remember. So they were budgeted to be. Well, somehow they're getting paid, right? So. Well, right. So they were budgeted to be. Um, I think um, weekly during the winter, and then every other week in the summer, or right. something like that. And and Richard finds that they don't need to be that frequent, but they should be more frequent in the winter. Like you know. So I caution against change, um, but he his desire is to have you know twice a week in the uh, twice a month in the winter. So okay. it's it's whatever you want to do with that. Okay. So but you gotta back up again for me. Okay. I, so I'm, I'm so really what no, we're no, getting. I understand. Okay, so that's how it the was. The schedule. Where what line is it getting paid out of? Oh, I'm sorry. It's supplies. It's gonna be supplies. It's in supplies because there's nowhere else to put it. So this is why I'm confused. I now have a budget of 700 for janitorial supplies, which is adequate for cleaning supplies. Yes. How is he cool. getting cleaning supplies so still and paying for the rug? That's what I understand. Because the total of these two is $1,500. And we're over seven. by, but we're over by 142. And we're not done with the end of the year. And we've also frozen mats to be once a month until December. That's okay. That's why. Sorry. Yep. Yeah. I just wasn't following. I'm sorry. No, it's... It's, it's not... It's complicated. So I... I think we need a new line that says equipment or something where we can put chairs and mats. I mean, mats. Maybe furnishings instead of equipment, uh, if you don't mind. No, that's fine. Um, I think the chairs should be addressed separately. I think I'll, well, supplies is just kind of a weird thing. It is weird. Thing. That is weird. You know, but it is, I mean, it is, it's cleaning of the rugs and so, I mean, I'm not really not a problem with it staying in supplies as long as we know that that's in there, right. you know. But I think the chairs should be separated out somehow. That's, that's uh, furni furnishing, uh, furnishing or whatever, um, creating a new line. Um, because I think that, I do think they need to be replaced. It's very disgusting. Don't take my chair. I like it. <laughs> but, you know, I think that, I'm not really hung up on the mats coming out of that supply line, as long as we know okay. that that's in there. So it costs us $800 more to do the mats. Then having no Every mats. Then having no mats. Right. Or you can buy them, and it would cost probably twice that, but it's a one time, and then um, he's vacuuming them, and they're coming with salt. But he's still not able to... Right, he's not able to get all the salt. The point of right. having them sent out to be cleaned is that they come back Clean. looking Clean. new again. I mean, right. right? So, right. Yes. why do we want to go back to that so, and just, just to be clear about options, options. Again, absolutely. Uh, so, it's like the definition so, his of insanity, proposal right? is Thinking you're going to get a new outcome by doing the well, same well, thing. Well, if you, if you compare it side by side, a mat might last five years. So, it's twice as much as renting them. So, there's a, there's a point where One's going to cost more than the other. Right. Um, mm -hmm. I think purchasing them will cost more than, than the claims right. because, because yep. they won't last five years because they're looking at well, the, at the year one with a winter, depending how much salt's being done, yep. they're going to be looking disgusting in itself. And that's not something really you can do with a portable steam cleaner or, or whatever. It just doesn't. So I think buying them would be more expensive. Do we even have one of those? Do we have a, a, a steam, steam cleaner? cleaner? I don't oh, know. no. So he could do this as a normal. It would be vacuumed. Yeah. Or you could like get rent such a. You could thing, rent one. You know? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But. But there's additional costs there. Yeah. You know, every so he, what he's proposing though is to have them cleaned every other week all year. Right. So that's fifteen hundred dollars for supplies with mats and cleaning paper products. That's his request for that, not including chairs. Okay. I think in the winter time, 
the schedule makes sense. I mean, in the middle of summer, I don't think it makes uh, sense. See, that's where I'm kind of hung up at it. Once your winter months are gone, I think you could go once a month. Oh, you, you absolutely exactly. could. So here's where you are renting them, whether you keep them and, and they don't come, or whether they come all the time. Monthly is the minimum where you're going to pay something and they come monthly. Yeah. So you can change it, but somebody's got to know to change it, okay. communicate with them, and make sure they're being compliant. Is Richard managing it now? <coughs> He's not here when they get oh, when they delivered. Okay. So, so that's really the complicating factor. So right. I interact with them, but then I ask him. You, you can't necessarily... The, the guy that delivers is not really the guy you want right. to talk no, to. Talk so, to the so I relay messages to Richard and ask him to deal with it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he has been? I mean. um, yes, except that he's not here to see if they're being compliant. And then I say, hey, Richard, they came again. And he calls, you know, so it's this funny okay. runaround thing. So it doesn't mean we can't continue with that. It's just um, they're not easy to work with that way. So we can try, but that doesn't yeah, mean we're not going to overspend it when they don't comply. I think we need to try and, and see what the quote is for five so, months of... So pick the, So that's for, for all year. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to do once a month, it's 400 So if you're going to do in between six months of each, it's 600 Or you can pick some other monthly, you know. Okay. And this includes Matt's downstairs as well. Yes, not, not just upstairs. upstairs. Yeah. Right. Okay, so back to where am I? Supplies town hall on. So that should be thirteen hundred then instead of seven. If we're saying six, if we do, you're saying it's four hundred for every, once so a month. So if half you do year. half and half, it's six hundred. You know, once a month, half the year, twice a month, or every other week for half of the year, that would be six hundred plus the existing supplies would be thirteen hundred. Change, we don't know what they're going to go to. Right. Yes. We don't I'm know what they're going to go to. I'm just saying the rates haven't changed in a good number of years. Like 13 years? They said it's going to this year. Yeah. And they will change. Right. But, you know, for sure it's probably not going to be by the first quarter because the rate schedule, the, the rate, um, the evaluation of the rate schedule is not scheduled yet. Okay. Um, and they're working on that. So I don't think they'll have it implemented for the first quarter. Okay. Um, so. It could be any time after that. Do we have any sense of what we think the, uh, the rates could go um, to, potentially? I mean, I mean, no. Ball, I, so. I, I, no. No? So we've only spent half of that money. Considerably. Yet. I'll just say that. Oh. For oh. sewer? For both. For both. And we already have one. So we need to start Some to bargain with them. Well, we, we the talked water. about this, right? All right. Well, I mean, it's not out of pocket for anyone. You know what I mean? Well, they do do other things for us besides provide us water and sewer. So um, they're working together with the highway. I, I would say um, I, I'm not disagreeing with the concept of what you're talking about, but I would talk to George about what kinds of things happen back and forth to get a better sense of what might be equitable. Right. Well, there's a quick pro quo already, right, for what we're, we don't know what. With, without talking about plowing, yeah, and, and, and he thinks that'll be minimal. So, you know, well, and the, at the very least, if you're going to embark on something like that, I would suggest um, having something in writing between parties as people change. Why are we not billing the town mm -hmm. for stuff? Right, 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 right. That's the sort of thing that gets swept under the rug. Right, right. people change and nobody, you, you lose the institutional memory. Right. right. All right, so we'll leave the rates as they are now, or the, uh, the proposed appropriation, because we don't know them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that goes all the way down to heat vents. Heat for town hall. How are, how are we um, looking now that um, our um, air conditioners are <coughs> working again? Does that have any impact, you know? That's not heat, that's electricity. Okay. 
Well, yes and no, Miles. So, no one knows how to program it, but we have. It. So we override it all the time. Perfect. That, Perfect. that would be fantastic. It is programmed, um, but it's programmed to hours that we don't know what they are. It doesn't make sense. So we override it all the time. Um, but that only is for this half of the building. The other half of the building does not have programmable. Um, but we're not. The, the floor ceiling is not insulated, and only yeah. this half of the building is insulated. So, you know. Um, that corner. Of the yes, that corner. To be not clear. This half yes. Of the right. <laughs> so, um, heat can run between nine hundred and twelve hundred dollars easily per month. Foil heat. Here, yes. Yeah. Do we like lock in a rate, or do we just close to the market? Um, you all just signed um, an agreement with um, Townsend to um, lock in not a rate, but a, um, a an amount over their rate, essentially. So it does fluctuate, but th okay. their profit is capped, so to speak. And that's an agreement that we do um, with the school in conjunction with them, like bulk rate for the whole town. I think it's, what, 25 or 24 I think it's 25 cents over rent. So do we think that what we have appropriated, a proposed appropriation for 2019 has not changed from 2017, which is an appropriate amount? It's also a question of winter. Yeah, I mean, I think so, given that January was very cold. Um, I think that represents a pretty cold winter. Yeah, I mean, it's just one of those things you can't really, yeah. you know, you do the best you can, but I mean, I think it's, it's a lot of money. It is a lot of money.
2018 revised budget was 7,900. Right, so we're staying to that. I was gonna, well, that's what I'm saying. So yeah. it was reduced by 900. Oh, well, they just did the what was approved. Right, yeah. No, I'm looking at the proposed for 2019. Mm -hmm. We're proposing 700, right? 7,000. 7,000. Oh, sorry, thank you. But that's because that's what was approved on 2018, but we revised it because we were running short. Right. Right? No, no, yeah, exactly. You're right. That's so what should I'm we saying. go to 7 9? We probably that, should. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. We, for some reason, decided that in 2019, we'd go to 7 when in reality it was 79. Yeah. So, I mean. So, you want to move, you, you want to bring Heat Fire Station up to 7900? Is that what you're saying? Because that's what it looks like it's projected I, to be. I, I just want to make yeah. sure I'm on the right line. Yeah. Okay. And what are we basing these projections off of? Are they work that, that uh, Suzanne did prior? Mm -hmm. So all the numbers, you, you're talking about the 2019 proposed budget, the, those lines are all exactly what they were the year before. No, I'm sorry, the, the expense of the 2018 revised. 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 Oh, that's, Suzanne this, just this did isn't, stuff. This isn't the work that you've been doing with. Not no, on this one. no, We've not in this one. Okay, so, that, no. so this is... So you that. can see a darker gray, or what's on the screen is a right. darker right. orange, and those lines are lines that Suzanne adjusted. Okay. Based on based on expenses. Though. Based on this year's expenses. Potentially for this year. going over what they right. had. Budget, right. No, so, I'm, not, yeah. I'm not questioning her. I just want her motives. I'm just. So these are some of the places that can contingency fed. Right. 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 So I think it's it, it's prudent to go to seven nine hundred. Yeah. Then. Yeah. Maybe an eight. I mean, that just says it's safe. We have to heat the building, so. All right, so 7,900 for that one then. It's in short now. We haven't got to the bottom yet. Okay. Electricity at Town Hall. This is the giant scary number that was revised. And this is actually what my question was. I'm sorry. It was it was it was air conditioning related, but it was actually electricity. I I, asked I, I, I don't I, I would ask so. Bob about that, and I'm not sure. You know. I'm not sure I can answer that. I mean, I see bills, but and they clearly spiked. I can see what months they spiked, but I can't tell you they whether or not. Go this month. I mean, did we get this month's bill yet? Well, I don't know whether they use it or not downstairs. You know, there's not a switch when they're just off. If somebody comes in and turns it on, then it's on, and I don't necessarily. No, have it. I mean, just in general, the the the, 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 the usage in the building. I guess we're just assuming that because there were issues with the with the air conditioning units downstairs, that was contributing to the spike. It may or may not. I, I, I don't know. But I mean, I'm sure it wasn't running efficient well, for quite a long time. There you one. go. Yeah. So, so that could have contributed to the air long term problem. Long -term right. Problem. And we still have three of those units. But we had a right. huge, warm, very warm summer, so it was probably yes. higher on, on yes. longer yes. than yes. previous years. Yep. You know, so I think it might be a combination of both. So this 9,000 <coughs> for 2018 expansion is represents, obviously not through the end of September, but not. So all there. of the, all of the, um, this whole column represents bills that were paid through September, not necessarily bills that were received. So that's the beginning. Those bills come at the beginning of the month, so it would not reflect September activity. Okay, so that's um, nine months. Yeah, so you've so got eight, eight months, months worth of activity in those lines. Um, in electric lines. But it should go down, given that we're not air conditioning in Correct. October, November. December. That's what we're hoping for. That's what we're hoping yeah, for. you know, they, they kind of balance each other. You, yeah. know, you keep yep. utilities bills kind of level and high, but whether it's in heat or AC. I mean, I would go to like. 12,000 on this one, um, only because I don't, I don't think it's going to be 18. We're not going to double, we're not going <coughs> to pay another $9,000 in electric bills for four months. If we do, then I think we could. Yeah, let's do that. I don't think it's a number that represents what will be reality either, but it was um, a projection that was made based on. Yep. How was the friend at the time? So I, I didn't necessarily agree with it when we did it either, but oh. it was a recognition of um, the, the what could happen based on <coughs> the at the time. So, <coughs> pardon me, we reallocated or revised the budget 
reflect that. I don't, I don't know if that's <coughs> what we really need to do, but we did. So, um, I think that in 2017 we spent $11,722. Machines that we may or may not be running that we yes. used to run. Yep. The Baylor. The Baylor. Right. Um, so I think we should go to the 25 that the uh, revised budget has, to be honest with you. I think running those additional machines that we aren't currently running is going to But wouldn't you more. not run your um, compactor as but much because you're running, running your, you're putting it in your Baylor? No, because you have it in single stream right now. Oh, uh, that's right. Okay. So really, you're saving. Um, well, you're. Re Let's not go there. No. Yep. Right now, no, it's just I compiled, right. and they compress it by hand with the loader. Yep. Right. Yeah, I would go with. I would go with the twenty-five on that. I, I 
just think when I think about what they use, what, you know, what the, it just seems very high. Because the radios radios are always on charge. That is another, you yeah, know, the portables right. were always on, they have a charging station right in the back. I don't know, I'll, I'll And they don't leave the lights on all the time, but you drive by it. It's not like they leave the lights on. It's right? So it's, I don't think it's. I mean, they have outdoor lights. That's yeah. true. They do have the outdoor, so about the right. door light. Yeah. Um, so maybe it's about changing fixtures and making those LEDs. Well, that's I a possibility, could be efficiency too. there, for sure. It just seems like an awful lot. But it is a whole building versus, I think we should ask them a little bit what, well, what he thinks might be something that we're just not. Like, that's yeah. an interesting question. Yeah. It's just a question. I have not accused anyone. All right, so we leave it for that for now, and we can ask yep. him when yep. he comes in. Maintenance, town hall maintenance. Hmm. Yeah, we've, we're a little over. Um, that has to do with the uh, units downstairs mostly. There, but so let's um, let's talk about that. There are ongoing issues, as everyone's aware. There are issues with siding in the back of the building, and it's two different places. There is an ongoing issue with the portico, which I don't think we're actually going to be able to get done this year, even though I wanted it to be done. But it's not going to happen. Um, we spent a lot of money. So there's the portico, which is the outside, right? But there's also the front entryway. And you'll notice that there's paint literally peeling down off the walls because there was a water issue that I don't think has been resolved. How is the still. flooring in the police station? It was buckled. Is it still buckled because of the water underneath? Well, you can fix the cause, but the co I don't know if he's fixed the surface so that the surface would be level as a, re you know. Yeah, the yeah. Were peeling because up. if we don't go forward with the police station, I mean, that. That's if the million dollar question about that line is if that what doesn't happens? happen, yeah. what are you going right. to address? Right. right. So, we currently have proposed $10,000, which has been, this was last year's appropriation, and it was reduced wow. after 17. So, if you look at Oh, I. They've all been over. Oh, yeah, they were. I don't remember what happened in 2017. That. I think the, it was the boiler. The boiler. Mm -hmm. The boiler. Yeah, so. And it's. It's just one thing after another. It yeah, sure I don't is. think you can go down. No. Oh, I was. Oh, this you is the one line where I was. Well, I actually wasn't going to suggest that we check. I, you know what, though? Let's be prudent. No, I shouldn't say that. In my mind, it's prudent. Let's just leave it where it is. Because I don't have all the information yet. I'd like to hear more about, not for now, but about the proposal of the police station. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming, I don't want to assume anything, but mm -hmm. I, I, I'm suspecting that if it's a combination building, it's not just, a, just the one, it's not just one building. It's going to be the police and town administration. Okay. So I need to have more information about that, because if that's the case, how long will we actually go, if it passes, if it, we'll assume it passes. How long are we in this building? You know, I mean, it would be another year. At least, probably, right? Yeah. For the building. So, yeah. for, so, there will be some maintenance issues that have to happen in that year. Yeah. Uh, do we want to, can we, if we're going to move out and we, we have to have a, another plan for what we do with this building, mm -hmm. if it all passes, what resources do we really want to put into a building that we're, we could be selling? We could be repurposing. I mean, I don't know. There could be a whole host of things we could be doing with this that I don't know. I don't know if any of us really know yet, but I, I don't want to, I certainly don't want to increase that line if, if we're not staying here. There's no point in my mind. But you have to be persuaded. So that's just me. I think that's fair. So, so leave it until we have Get a little more information. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the highway shed. So we're going to change that, right? We're going to, well, next time we see this, it's going to say the highway department garage, right? That's what um, we're going to It's not going to say shed anymore. And I know you didn't put it in there. But I, I will, I will make a note to, to, to address okay. that. 
Um, Small so potatoes, but please. If you look at what's yellow on the screen, I left Suzanne's note um, indicating that it was um, increased in order to address moving the office. Okay. Um, so that issue has not been addressed, but that's something that if they're going to do it, they can do in-house yeah. with, with materials and not labor. Right. So she was suggesting bumping the line back down. Yeah. Um, but this actually reflects his request. Um, I put that in there, um, but I kept the notes and highlighted it so that you can see the contrast and you might address that with him. I okay. think that he has in mind some kind of lighting efficiency project to do, but I, I don't, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not sure. So we'll hold off then to talk to George about that then? Decide whether or not we think it's appropriate to move forward with this plan or not. Okay. No other department has um, addressed building lines though. Okay, so you know what we should do? We should, I think. We'll, we'll leave um, the fire department where it is until we can have a conversation with Mark to yeah. see if there, he has been he has been very good about um, and, and his, his crew down there has been very good about fixing and not small things but I have to say it this way smaller projects yeah. within the existing not just doing everything at once he's mm -hmm. been trying to do things piecemeal um, and he's been. They've been keeping up on it down as best they can, I think. So this may be a, a good number. I don't know what he has planned for this year. So but until we know that, I would suggest leaving it where it is. Uh, same with the transfer station. I'm sure George will address any plans for, for that too. The hydro plant license. Is there any change in that? Well, um, that's there? a state fee. I so I don't know, and I, I don't know. Well, the. It is, it is a fee that we pay the state for having a hydro plant. Okay. So we won't know if it changes. Well, what, what, when, um, when do we pay the fee to the state? Right? Well, we haven't already, and I don't recall, and I have to look that up. Um, is it, and, it, and, and, and maybe there's a possibility that it's not even annually, and it was just budgeted because we don't know that. So I need to look into it. I know that. Okay. Um, well, my, my, my point is the fee couldn't change until at least May or June. Depending on when the legis next legislature sets the budget, the state budget. There you go. So, so I wouldn't adjust it. Yeah. I, I wouldn't adjust it because it, it could be it, uh, 10 years or whatever. I doubt it. <laughs> um, or maybe going up. But we won't know until. Much I have later. a feeling it's not an every year budget, uh, an every year item, and we should <coughs> look well, into that case, so that we can inform that, that line in the notes area. All right. Hydrant rental of the water district. Are we. Um, Anticipating? I would anticipate an increase in all of their lines. And I can't tell you what it's going to be, but... The rental fee covers um, the actual like the actual fire plug that sticks out of the ground and, and the maintenance of those? Yes. Okay. I wouldn't say maintenance. I, it, and I'm not, not including that. I just don't know that. It's, it's yeah. the structure. I don't know any more than that. And it's only on town roads. And this would also be a, um, another case of where the fee hasn't changed for a number of years. I'm sure. Okay. All right, so we will leave it likely as I guess for now. <laughs> that we know. Hopefully some of the unknowable. You, you are likely to not know before it's too late, mm -hmm. just to say. Okay. And the hydrant rental, Dover, Summersworth, that doesn't look like it's changed in I'm sure that won't change. Years? Well, so or, or we're not, yeah, there's no way to know those. I don't think so. Until they set their budgets as well, so. Uh, okay, municipal tax. This is what we pay to Berwick, Berwick and South Berwick. Berwick. Now, our tax bill must have gone down some way because we sold off a, right, and you can a see large that. chunk of um, Yeah, I, you know, the, the 2017 number is really um, funny to me, so I'm not sure why that's so low. But, right, our most recent bills, and, and the J column reflects the sale of part of our land in South Berwick that we sold. So this is the actual. Um, That's actually what we spent, line J, so far. Okay, it is. So no guesswork. Is there more to? Stuff? It's done for stuff. the year. It's done for the year. Okay, so. So we can reduce this. Maybe. Why is this? Yeah. I would think so. I mean, I, I guess. I mean, I understand the taxes go up. Trust me, I, I get it. We're working on it right now, right? So we have nine hundred. Nine hundred dollars. Do you think really? Mm -hmm. Especially considering we, we uh, are, 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 yeah, I wouldn't, and there's no improvements.
happens to the lots. None right. at all. So I don't. Did they go through a reevaluation too? Or whatever? I don't know what they, okay. where they are in their cycle, but that's a good question. Well, that waterfront property that we own. <laughs> mm -hmm. They're not making any more waterfront properties, I've been told. All right, so 4,800, does that seem reasonable? Moving into that. Forty-eight it is, and that, my friend, brings us to the end of uh, that section. We went a few minutes over, I call it that, but we're not done yet. We look at our calendar, and think about what we're. Monday? That's it. Correct. Correct. Unless we do. Can we do a budget on Monday? If you want to meet, are you around? Sure. Um, I thought you were away. Though. I am. Well, I come home Monday, oh, so okay. I'll just come home earlier. Yeah, we don't think. Because I'm gone for the weekend, but. Um, the if you're talking about the Columbus Day? Yes. Yeah. That's a holiday, right? So town hall is closed, just so people know. Okay. That doesn't that doesn't mean that we can't come into a budget workshop. Well, I'm but, just thinking if. But. We won't have staff support that evening because it's a, it's a day off for the staff. Uh, you know, I, I, I will come in if you schedule it then and want me here. What are we talking about? What time are you talking about? On Monday, the 8th? Yes. Uh, whatever time. I, I've got to work that day. I don't, we don't make oh, okay. Because I, I won't be home until I can be home early evening. I'd like you must four work to four five, evening. somewhere in that yeah, area. So if we came in at for six, maybe? Sure. Maybe for a couple of hours? Yeah. Bang something out? Okay, so let's say, I'm glad I let you say no to the six, because I don't remember, my, uh, one of my aunts died last weekend, so I don't remember, I don't remember the funeral that's on Sunday, so. Okay. So that's for six. I want to schedule a budget workshop in the so, the eighth, all right, so let's say, all right, 6 p.m. Um, what is our plan to cover? That evening, let's see. Oh, I just got this in the calendar. Sure. Oh, so that's just the seventh. Right, yeah. uh, um, either uh, police, highway, or fire. I don't. We'll see which which budget seems more complete to us. Okay. I'm assuming only because of um, past experience that the police one would probably be the easier of the three, I would think, because there's usually not a lot of change there. I mean, I, I, again, I have to look through what, what Chief said, but uh, in greater detail, but I think that one we could probably get done after that night, and, and anything else on, on top of that. I mean, I don't know what it fire is going to be, fire is typically pretty easy too. Mm -hmm. um, the only concerns that I have not, not a great concern, but just the, the radio issue. Like, how is that going to get resolved? And, and Mark will walk us through what his, yeah. his goals are again, but I'm still not, I'm still not sure I completely understand exactly what he's trying to. Yeah. How, I know what he's trying to accomplish. I'm just not sure I understand the roadmap how he's right. getting there. That's right. my. But I mean, you're going to meet with police and highway on Monday. Yeah. So. It's your opportunity to have your questions answered there. Right. And so then the next Monday, we can probably make our decisions on what we're going to bring forward. We'll have the info. We'll have the info. Be, whether or not we agree with and, what And, you know, suggested. meeting with Mark, um, maybe as well. I don't know. Yeah. I'll yeah. see what it, if he's going to be able to make it in that. All right. But my bad. Thank you. Um, okay. So we have the eight. Let's see if we can take a couple more days. That's all right. Everyone. I know weekends are tough, I get it, but it's, um, I really think we can have the operating budget 
done in a, maybe three more meetings. So we have the 8th. If we could do maybe the 13th and the 20th, those are Saturdays. I know, I'm sorry. But it, it's nice, not you know, uninterrupted. You know, we're just able to focus on this yep. and get it done over, maybe we don't need the full three hours, but I like to block them off like that. Um, does that work with everyone's calendars? I have to look at our calendar. Okay. I'm not up to date on my... Okay. My iPhone and my calendar in there. So. Okay, so um, we, we can wait till. Go ahead and Monday. book them. You sure? Yeah, right. go ahead and book them. And then Are you proposing 9 to noon on both those days? Yeah, is that okay? I, I just want to, yes, and I, I just want to know if you're noticing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, thank you. That's important. Um, I want to go to 9. Okay, so we have the 9 the budget right committee meeting is on the 24th. I'm sorry? On the 24th. One more time. The budget committee meeting is on the 24th. Of October? Mm -hmm. Well, good news. I was going to say we do, we do the 13th and the 20th. We should be able to finish up um, on the 20th, I hope. Now, that doesn't include capital items. We haven't talked about those yet. Mm -hmm. but we, um, we'll get to know more about that we'll more about when... Um, Right, police and fire and, and highway, but also um, the CIT committee has. Um, but they don't, I mean, nobody told me that something I have to buy this year. I don't recall them saying that. Right. So you so just, you, you, you revise the. I, I have all my notes on it. I have to go in and see. I, do I have rights to change the CIT report? I, I don't. I you know, go and try. <coughs> the select board has the ultimate authority. You can, you know, say what they said and make your own separate recommendation. I think what about Lisa thinks that she has um, access right. to actually go in and update the CIP report. Um, that's a good question. I don't. I'll try it when try I try it when you don't look at all the info. Because I have all the info. Has the CIP committee met today? I'm sorry. Has the CIP met yet this budget season? Or? Oh yeah, we've met twice. We've already met twice. Now. I don't think we've met again. We have. Time, again, so. we have to you're going to go to make a report. Oh, so. Yeah, I'm going to have to get the report of, of what they said that they wanted. But I don't, I don't recall anybody saying that they wanted something huge this year. This year. Okay. I don't so it's just it it be as simple as putting money aside into the. Well, what I did see is, did George confirm that his truck is a diesel? Did you see that note? Um, all, all the, the other, the two remaining big plow trucks are diesel. Because they're offering that diesel right. re reimbursement right. again. There's I don't one know small what problem. Though. We have to be able to prove that it's not it's scheduled. Um, it's not at this point. It's, it's not, not at this either. point. Not, it's not on the CIP. On the CIP it's at this not, point. not for this coming year. Yes, it's not. So that part is okay, and that's how we proved the fire truck. So that part's okay. okay. I just as long as it's not on the schedule for the, the current year, you're okay. I thought it was. It, was uh, it, it may be too. Like I, I don't it's know. It's not even on the schedule yet. Right? Well, it's on there somewhere. It's so not scheduled for 19. I, think it's I, I, you know, I would say check that. I don't know what the regulation is about how far out it, yeah. it can't be scheduled before it complies. I just right. want to raise my hand and say that was an incredible amount of work, right. that that grant. Right. Wait, is that what the grant is with the The with fire the truck diesel? grant, yes. Oh. That the was the fire program. truck grant. So we got $109,000 um, on Suzanne's labor. Mm -hmm. right. So, um, not that we shouldn't do it, but well, we I don't have the capacity to do it now. We don't have the capacity right now. Yep. But we should. Uh, but it doesn't mean we have to do it either, because it's not to the point where it needs to be replaced. I just saw that note that said, right. is it diesel? Because they're running out of gas. So. Right. And it's not just this year, right? Isn't it a multiple year, I thought? I thought. Or is it multiple, multiple times we're going to do that? I, I think that there are multiple opportunities to sign up throughout the year. Look at it. That's what okay. I think it said. So, um, on the 24th meeting, mm -hmm. um, for the budget committee, what is the, the has the agenda been set yet? No, but it's a third quarter it's review. It's third quarter review. Sure. <coughs> Pardon, third quarter review. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I'm sure they're going to also talk about coming up schedules about what they're going to do. Is that or even if that's, that's has that already been determined by? We get what we did get is, is we got the the revised um, because you guys had said what week you wanted for the it debate session. session. So yeah. it has, is I don't it know if all the dates. Yeah. I think that came.
came back revised. Oh, the dates are set, I think. Did, so did he sent that out already? October. Yes. Yeah, could you forward that along? I was going to say, could we get that yeah. copy of that so yeah. we can, Do you we have can put it like into our calendar? I don't so know if I was on copy, though. If yeah. it was a before or after, I got I got a copy. Okay. I can but you were already on it, so you should have got a copy. I wasn't on. The budget committee's the member. No, no, no. It's a budget committee As member. As a budget committee member. No, I'm not. No, 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 no. We, we don't know what sheet he used. Whether you used the old one where you were on it before Suzanne left. Oh, 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 oh. But I will, I will send. I will send a copy. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, that would be good to know when uh, <laughs> when you're off and so we don't. Well, we also you have the information you need. But you? we also have to have our budget kind of prepared. Right. Right. I so we even need to one of the department heads, and so we'll have to know what. Mm -hmm. Well, they'll have to know where we stand on that. Mm -hmm. Well, I can give you kind of a breakdown. I would encourage you to reach out to George about his um, CIP request for this coming budget because um, I, I have, um, I, I think he would revise his request if he could. Okay. 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 Can you reach out to him before yeah, Because the first the budget for any of the work, uh, any budget workshop for any of the departments yeah. is December 5th. Oh, okay. I thought there was one for the piece. Oh, um, that's so late. I think he might need to revise um, that. You better revise that. Oh, my God. Oh, maybe this one, maybe this one. There should one be some in November. Late. Yeah, there is. Like early. Yeah. I don't see it. Like... I must not have put it in for that one, but they, I know that we're doing water and sewer on December 5th. Mm. Um. You might reach out to John and make sure he understands the SB2 deadline and the implications, and um, he can work on the scheduling. You know, I I'm kind of concerned. But I'm, I'm kind of concerned that they're not. You know, qu third quarter review aside, they ought to probably be starting. You know, they, they can't do much without us. But at the same time, getting on the ball before. He's one to know Like earlier. I know. I don't yeah. have yeah. yeah. phone. Um, yeah, I'll look at the schedule and see. And reach out to him and see, yeah, yeah. make sure he understands. To make sure he's meeting all the Yeah, and I guess say, I don't, I don't think I have any in November, so I think I had December's in. Of course, mm -hmm. our budget is an SV2 this year. Good. Well, it is. Yes, it is. It and is. so that bumps up. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, I'm sorry. You're it right. bumps it up got, all of our deadlines. Through. That's right, sorry. And the budget committee might also consider a separate meeting dedicated to evaluating a default budget because that's a brand new topic. Yeah, that would be good. Help overall. Yeah, I, 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 it's on my brain. Mm. So have you talked? Possibly talk to uh, Katie Krause. So I'm just going to be her first year to the reason. But they would have. But known she would have they, something going on. Yeah, well, they they know what a default budget was based on. But the laws have also changed recently oh, as well. Oh, they did. Okay. Yes. So, um, mm -hmm. I can call, you know, I have resources. I can yeah. I can figure it out. Yeah. I'd like to have something like black and white. This is what it is. And well, you know. black and white still leaves uh, interpretation, interpretation, right? Absolutely. The Constitution is black and white. Absolutely. It's being interpreted all the time. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you all for your work this morning.